Welcome back to a corporate time. Deborah from Fairville and Megastores Woo! here. How are you doing, Deborah? I'm doing great. Thank you. So a couple holidays coming up, um, and uh, I feel like the most <laughs> your favorite or the holiday. more important Easter, holiday. A lot of people don't know this about you. Easter is your favorite holiday. My wife was yelling at me about Easter because when uh, you go too crazy on Easter, you buy yeah, your boys. She's like, "Stop making a second Christmas." You and my <laughs> wife. Okay, you and uh, that's how it was when I was growing up. You, like you, my mom would just yeah. Easter was big in my household. You don't. Well, you got think, toys. No. I, not me, no. but that's what Crystal says. She's like, you get a basket of candies, yeah, and that's it. That's it, and some and eggs, stinky boiled eggs. You and my <laughs> wife are very much alike. My wife wanted to buy my daughter for Easter a three hundred dollar <gasps> double camera smartwatch. What? She Holy it. smokes! Yeah, look this up. <laughs> I don't even have a smartwatch. Yeah, look this up. It's called a TikTok. TikTok. It's hard to say. Talk. T a l k. TikTok. She wanted. She's like, "Oh yeah, we'll get her the TikTok." I'm like, "TikTok, these are three hundred dollars. Like, I have a watch. We're Dang. not doing that." You and my wife do the same things. This is supposed to be a chocolate bar and an egg. That's it, in a basket. I mean, that's up to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, okay. Well, so if you did want to like go, like the more religious you are, the more downgraded Easter is, where it's like subtle. You might like be right. Can, you might be right. Yeah, yeah. To me, trashier, less religion, more private. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. There you so go. if you it's work, a price of right, uh, you know, holiday. Exactly. If you were going to throw some money at this, and let's make Easter about not not necessarily just the kiddos. Let's make it about adults, and let's make it spicy, and let's mm. sprinkle some fair villa on top of it how about that all right but we, I, i'm talking about 420 <laughs> 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 uh, that's the, the more important the more, important holiday. The more yeah. fair villa holiday i, I feel see, like he is risen he is risen indeed <laughs> <laughs> He is uh, resin. Yeah, he is resin. resin. He is le- yeah. Uh, yeah. So Deborah, he's and, rising. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm staring at a yeah. bunch of weed themed or marijuana themed uh, fair villa gifts and products and different things, that's, games. Yep, that's true. And you know, we have expanded our 420 gift areas in all of our locations. Uh, I just happened to bring an assortment from the mega store here in Orlando. Uh, it's it's craziness. It's amazing. I mean, everything from apparel to toys to games. I mean, a little novelty pipes. There's just like a little bit of well, everything. Can I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not to interrupt, but you said novelty pipes. Don't think gas station novelty pipes. Think like right. the, that one right there is like a work of art. It looks like a a hand painted ceramic ice cream ice cream sundae, ice cream sundae, sundae yeah. with oh. a carb on the side. It's like hand pa- like yep. it's not. We're not talking about like a do you want to buy the guy with the rings? He's like, yeah, do you want yeah. to buy this? You need the the little uh, flower pipe or no? I'm talking about a nice. Uh, tobacco pipe. That's mm. right. And, and, you know, Fashion Craft is the company that makes that. And that we have, I mean, everything from a pizza slice to an eggplant <laughs> to, you know, they're a unicorn. I want an so eggplant. So many different <laughs> really cool you know, looking. Who thought of that? Yeah. I'm right? going to smoke my weed out of an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Sign me up for one <laughs> eggplant. Yeah. Like, wh- I wonder why they chose eggplant out of all the, the things. I think oh, there was a peach too. I don't even know. Yeah, the peach is a ass oh, okay. and an is a ding dong. Oh, all right. Okay. This guy doesn't know about emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I didn't even think of the emoji. Uh, that's how stupid I am. Um, of course is the emoji. Yeah, it's the emoji. Um, does it have the water no, droplets? No. Oh no, okay. Do you no. add that to yours? <laughs> that you have to, right? No, that just means it's, you know, it's happening. And oh, the, the okay. other one is like before it's happening. So what what would don't you want it? It's happening all the time. Well, you, you do, but <laughs> okay, yeah. I right. mean, it, you can't just have a you know a saluting <laughs> eggplant. You can't have saluting right, eggplant right. without water droplets. So, hmm. Deborah, let's okay. start from the beginning. What oh, do we wow. got here? Well, I brought an assortment of some games. Uh, those are always fun, great gifty items. Um, and uh, we have so many, I can't even keep up with them. We have um, it's something just called the THC the game, and it's just a board game. Oh, it looks like life. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm coming over there. here to grab gra- yeah. this one right Passes here. Yeah, passes around. Uh, Potheads Against Sanity, a little spin on, you know. Oh, uh, Cards yeah. Against uh, Humanity? Correct. Or, yeah, right, I remember right, that. Right. Yeah. And then Personal Questions for Stoners, the party game that breaks all your boundaries. Oh, so, we got to ask know, Tom some of these. Yeah, yeah he right. has no personal boundaries. Questions. So, you know, feel free to uh, break it open, take a look at it. Um, you know, it there could be as simple as like this one on the back. What is the biggest challenge you've had you've ever faced before saying I'll screw it? I mean it can be just super <laughs> <It's> every day <laughs> for Tom. <laughs> 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 
was like, right. did you yeah, write so that down? <laughs> giving oh my up. God. Ladies is and gentlemen, it's one of the, the most fun brothers. you can have. <laughs> yeah. right, but one of the most satisfying things yeah, any person could ever do. That's right. a quote he said. So, oh. you know, like these are all really very reasonably priced, great little add ons to other gifts. Um, and I, great adult Mad Libs. Uh, you know, my daughter is obsessed with Mad Libs, so I have to be careful not bring that one home. <laughs> but Maisie loves, absolutely loves Mad Libs and howls, like thinks it's like when the adjectives get messed up, when you know, when you, when you say something like a very messy car, she'll cry. She'll just cry laugh. She thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. You yeah. know how like motivational speaking is super hot and like, you know, people pay a lot of money for uh, motivational speaking classes and courses and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Start I'll, living lucky, buddy. Well, I want to <laughs> do a, a course on giving up and how <laughs> more people oh, should do it. And the give up uh, method. Why are you trying so hard? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like people would be yeah, like, oh, just I've, give up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, have you gave up lately? Yeah, it's what's awesome. the last time you gave up? <laughs> yeah. Well, there is something to that. I mean, you are supposed not necessarily to give up, but there is something to be said. Like, let it go when you're like, having exactly yeah. when you're having an anxiety attack or some stress of like being aware of what's happening and kind of leaning into it a little bit and kind of letting it just not trying to impede it, just kind of let it flow right and just like why are you working so hard yeah <laughs> you know i tell like, you that all the time <laughs> i know and you're like oh god i gotta do it <laughs> it, it uh it's horrible anyway well, what's the other and, if and a, a genie came out of your bong what three wishes <laughs> would you ask for that's one of the questions <laughs> that's funny <laughs> <laughs> now this is great nothing against this game but i feel like you could easily just gotten the questions and added bong and weed and to like, anything oh yeah maybe yeah. that's like, what they did <laughs> and that makes me happy <laughs> yeah. 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 i could have you done this. should have thought of this yeah that's we could be thing. selling this in the mega store right now <laughs> yep, like sure. if you could talk to any celebrity dead or alive who would you talk to you high. No, it's, 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 if you could get high, it's if you could get high with any sort of thing. Come on. Yeah. You uh, could Sam, write this. Uh, Sam yeah. better. If, <laughs> I got one. If you could name your own strand of marijuana, what would you name oh, it? No, yeah, Good yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god, we, we need to write this, this and sell it in the <laughs> mega store. Oh, Let's do it. We can make money for the mega store <laughs> and us. Um, so what else we got, Deborah? Uh, definitely a coloring, coloring book because why not? Uh, nice little stoner coloring oh, book. Uh, oh, hold on, is what's happening on the cover? <laughs> yeah, what is all the on? cover? All the cover it appears. <laughs> I've seen this video. <laughs> I've seen this. Is that a bus stop? Yeah, I've seen I'm that video too. Stop. And this guy's husband is the guy. Is that guy holding a condom? The guy's husband is in the bus. He's a bus driver. <laughs> Um, and you know, I have brought Kush cards before. They actually are now making like gift wrap. So cute little bag oh, with a little gift that. wrap tissue oh, that you look at purchase any muscle. of these things. Put it in there. <laughs> Super cool. Muscle stoner. Oh, a muscle stoner. <laughs> Big right. old muscle stoner. Look and at that. The tiniest <laughs> mini dress <laughs> yeah. on the girl over there. <laughs> this <laughs> is the best thing Deborah's ever brought up. I like how lady I'm night. not taking that one back. <laughs> oh my God! Look, it's one. me with a vape life shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. It looks like me. Look at the beard. That looks like me yeah. with a vape live shirt on. This is fantastic. Oh uh, my God, they're naked. They're naked smoking <gasps> weed. It's Adam and Eve smoking weed. There you go. I can't put that. And then a gorilla smoking a banana. <laughs> <laughs> what is this the best? <laughs> why, is the, why is the cover I, Cortland I, Sutton talking to a hooker? <laughs> uh, I did not expect this to be the item to catch fire, but apparently. Oh it man, is. this is this so is good. Then uh. they got a page that's just Danny Trejo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, mach nice. machete. Oh, yeah. Machete. He's smoking machete. weed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like he's smoking it on a hot knife. <laughs> and then there's a zombie. I'm not smoking. And then look, there's a zombie smoking out of a recorder. <laughs> what? And why yeah. is it called Zombies D? Oh, I can't, I don't know if I have. I think he was smoking out of his own. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was he? <laughs> I think he might have. It fell he off. broke it off? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Do you need to? I need to see. I, I got a very oh, I think the illustrators got bored at the end and they are like, just make it very smoky through his own D. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, think, I, I think that last page is last page. Oh, gosh. Who made that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing sold at Fair Villa. It's both sexy and stoner. Go there and buy them oh, out of that straight coloring up book. Straight the strip club. Yeah, go buy them out of that coloring book. <laughs> go to the mega store and buy every copy they have. That's the best thing you'll buy.
There if, you go. Oh my God, that's awesome. If you send us a picture <laughs> of your kid coloring that, yes. hair, I will give you a yeah. Oh my God, he is in fact smoking out of his own <laughs> If you If you send me a picture of your child coloring. There's a hole where it used yeah, to be. If, if you send, oh my God. If you, <laughs> this we can't is tell the that. best thing If ever. you send me a picture of your kid coloring out of that, I will make you an added founder. <laughs> oh, okay. Never okay. been done before. Never been done yeah, before. Yeah, there's one be, little space yeah, over there. There's one oh, space. I'll wow. take your picture and put it on there. Wow, that's sorry, Deborah. Sorry. That's, no, yeah. These are the type of <laughs> gifts that no, but this is the serious part. These are the type of gifts that you can only get at Fairville Mega Store. You're not going to yeah. find this stuff anywhere else. You're not going to find this stuff online. Nope, it's crazy. All right, we what have else? it uh, because we all love the edible pasties. Yes. This one is edible. pot brownie flavor. Oh, Ooh. that's smart. Yeah, we're going to need bigger brownies for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> um. Again, nothing against the pasty company, but I feel like you could just add pot to any, like pot strawberry. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, it's novelty. I was like, isn't this just the strawberry flavor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pot wow, strawberry. we couldn't make a pot flavor, could we? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, Where's uh, my zombie? <laughs> <laughs> So there's a, a picture of a woman with a pot brownie pasties <laughs> on the cover of this, and it uh, it's interesting. Like, oh, she's wearing. I didn't even. Oh, see yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, all right. Um, and also that's not what pot brownies look like. There's not the big weed leaf. No. Well, I mean, they <laughs> just like you can't see the tits. They do look like regular brownies, right? <laughs> right. I'm also, I feel like most of the time when I see pasties. They're on either very small boobies or the biggest. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing of in boobies. between. There's no media booby girls. I'm just going to give you a shout out. There, you have nothing to be afraid of. I would like to see more medium-breasted women don the pasties. Mm. For years and years, it's been little boob, big boob game, and mm. I'm saying we got to get, we got to fix that. Mm -hmm. We have them for everyone. Yeah, we Don't have them. Worry. They're good for even guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I would like to see Norm uh, wear. Like to, you know, I'd like to see mo more of our guy listeners wear pasties to our events. Yeah. They, well, come on down. It'd we'll be less. I'll you. tell you what. It'd be less disgusting. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Yeah. Don't, oh my. Uh, um. What do we got next? <laughs> that, uh, that went sour. Of course, the weed socks because we love our gumball poodle socks. Yeah. Gumball mm. poodle is. They've been in the game for a very long time. Yep. And uh, these are pretty darn awesome. Yes. We have some new ones that'll be arriving for the summer as Not, well. Some new. Uh, here's and they're going to make some short ones, too. Here's what I like about the gumball poodle socks, and I vouch for them. They're not just printed. They're not just supplemented. They're, like, woven. Yeah. So when you stretch them over your calves, uh, you can still see everything. They still look vibrant and cool yeah. and awesome. They're not, yeah, yeah. They're not just supplemented. It's it's a, a little bit more expensive process, but yeah. it makes a better product. I like how the designers, uh, they were like, well, we could have gone like subtle marijuana leaves or maybe uh, uh, some green yeah. with some mixed in, like just some smoke. Beat them over the head with it. Weed, weed, weed. weed. <laughs> 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 we'll just print weed. You get your point times. <laughs> how many weeds? Is there six weeds? Yeah, there's yeah, a there, lot of weeds. Yeah, there's six multicolored weeds. Weeds. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Just, you uh, know my wife. Okay, let me ask you guys. Since we're talking 420 and we're talking novelties, uh, we were driving with the windows down the other day, and and because now there's medical marijuana everywhere, it had wafted into our car. And uh, Maisie goes, "Ew, what's that smell?" And my wife said, "It's a weed." <laughs> oh god, I feel like that's too close. I like it. And I, she couldn't have come up with I, anything. And Andrea's forever getting me into trouble. And I turned to her and I'm like, I'm just looking at her. I'm like, why would you do that? What, like as she's, like, her, she's like, what do you mean a weed? And Andrea's like, some people smoke a uh, certain weeds, and I'm like, what are you no, I would, not, I would not have gone that way. What? Like, what the <laughs> ever are you doing, Andrea? You're like, we can bring this up that on Friday. Logical. She's we'll bring it up on Friday. We can just bring it up on Friday, yeah. and you guys can tell me how to explain mm -hmm. that one away. I just changed the subject. We never got into it, but Andrea started going down the track of like letting her know about marijuana, and it's yeah. a weed. And I'm like, where are we going with this? See, Who's driving this car? It, it's hard <laughs> because I like the logic I of just saying it, but. Again, the uncomfortability. I just say like, "What?" And yeah. then I just, <laughs> "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, I, you must be smelling wishes that didn't come true. <laughs> you know, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I just try to avoid the conversation and just uh, like, oh, "What are you talking about?" I don't smell anything, and then just keep going. And my kids will forget it. Oh no, we mm. did have a freak out. It's fine though. Oh, yeah. hey, don't worry about it. I, uh, I'll get it. Okay. Um, I just don't know what the time is. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I can. I'll get you that in a second. Okay. Um, so, Deborah, what do we got next? Uh, and of course, we do have novelties that are weed um, influenced. 
influenced with patterns, prints. I brought you yeah. guys some of the stoner vibes before. They actually have a whole cute little kit with the blindfold, a little C ring with a bullet, <laughs> and then a nice little hard vibe. So, you know, this is all battery operated, super cost, um, you know, effective and um uh, it, it makes it so gifty, so super gifty. So yeah, you could just do a nice little kit. And we even have um, Maya Toys, one of um, our favorite companies. They have a whole line of products that include leaves, pot leaves, or um, the coloration. It's all kind of this um, this cannabis influenced uh, uh, segment of what they do. And so they, they actually released a stroker for men that has what that's you want the stroker <laughs> token is that the term we use now that's the that's the term are we allowed to say that the stroker i don't know, <laughs> I don't know why i be stroking <laughs> that's so what it, i be doing <laughs> so it actually has a nice vibrating bullet in there so you can have vibration or not when yeah. you're utilizing yeah. it and uh, that thing this looks advanced wow, this yeah, looks, yeah, like yeah. A, looks like a tentacle yeah, yeah. it's all it ripped looks on like the inside a, yeah. the cranberry oh sauce God. in the can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that is yes. uh, well yeah. built yeah, that's yeah, solid is, yeah this that's is a yep. solid stroker yeah this, this right here <laughs> this is a great a yeah that's a this great a, a what do you call this well it's a wagyu stroker <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is yeah. a wagyu stroker that's a thick boy they call it the blaze the blaze but wow that bullet is actually rechargeable, so that Can I turn alone this thing? is super How do I turn cool. it on? Ah, you should be able to just hold that here. You want okay, that? yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to blow the stroker. Don't up. break the stroker. Stroker ace. Well, maybe. I was trying to do it without removing it. I'm a midnight it. stroker. Maybe it needs to be charged. Hold on. The uh, three um, seconds usually. Three seconds. Oh, don't break the stroker. It, it's oh god, it's fighting you. It's interesting. The uh, the weed leaf. Is the iconic image oh, of marijuana? Oh my god, that's a, that's a lot. That <laughs> thing's going to town. When really, that's the, just the first setting. The weed, the bud, yeah, the, the bud yeah, yeah, yeah. is the actual THC. The leaf doesn't do anything, but that's the iconic image. Hold on, I'm shaving in traffic. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shaving in traffic. Yeah, the thing's you going. Know, for try that. for guys, you know how. And Deborah, I'll ask you this. Wow, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> this, it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing goes. I might. Now that's probably gonna be cheaper than an auto blow, isn't it? Oh yeah. And I that don't thing, know. and what? that thing goes, man. Like that is. Where's the on-off button? No, there's the <laughs> once it's on. Once it's on, it's, you it's have forever. To act, you can access the bullet from the interior side of. Oh, I gotta the go bed. in. You gotta go oh, in. Oh, he's, oh, going in. Yeah, he's going in. Uh, oh. <laughs> he's got a stoker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the top. Oh, yeah. I can. Oh yeah. I'm uh I got oh, I like got a Chinese finger in. trap. Oh, stuck. <laughs> He's got a, a Chinese finger uh, trap. I cannot turn that off. Okay, we'll give it back. Don't to worry Denver. about that. I'm gonna hand you one so, other item. This is oh what is god. that? Thing? Oh my god, that's the oh, devil's it's triangle. A dual, <laughs> yes, a dual it's like stimulator. A so something for <laughs> oh my uh, lord. Oh man, the ladies out there. This thing it looks is like, like uh, Sonic's girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I forgot her name. Yeah, I don't know. It's so the, the one. The external arm has a cute little pot leaf shape to it, and it kind of covers a lot more area Hello. for <laughs> external <laughs> stimulation. One ring a dingy. So, um, back to the stroker. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Lily Tomlin uh, fans here? Okay. I caught Showing it. my age. I, I, I Showing my I age. Know Nobody knows who that is. Um, so Old lady comedian. We all know, like, the stereotype of... Whip it. Uh, whip it. Good. The, um, like, women stereotypically keep these kind of things in their nightstand, right? That's been the stereotype. We don't even have of, a nightstand, so my wife, she just, mm. like... Puts it on the floor. <laughs> you know, like under, on the floor. Yeah, on the floor near her, yeah, it's near her like it's near her Magnolia Digest magazines. <laughs> her Chip and uh, Joanna Gaines magazine. She lays it right on top of it. I'm like, put a napkin. Put a napkin so you don't get any ooze on Chip's face. <laughs> So for men, though, like if you have these, <laughs> like, you know, like we talked about the, the auto B. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't say it now. <laughs> auto B? <laughs> Who's that, a rapper? Is that a new rapper for any of yours? And then the, the stroker and stuff. Like, <laughs> oh, he can say stroker, <laughs> but he can't say auto blow. No. <laughs> Where do you keep this? Do you keep it in, keep it in your freezer? In your nice hand? <laughs> like like you uh, keep it in your freezer like your vodka. Like where do men stereotypically keep these 
things. Oh, and, like in an old ammo. Uh, I have an old military issue green ammo box <laughs> <laughs> that my dad kept on the shotgun. You got to have a pleasure chest. Pleasure <laughs> chest. <laughs> oh, wowie. <laughs> pleasure chest. Yeah. Pleasure chest. My God. Where do you keep your pleasure chest? <laughs> oh, in your yeah, closet, under that. your bed, uh, yeah, wherever you butt, have room. A butt pirate never tells you where he keeps his <laughs> pleasure chest. Because <laughs> I, at one time, uh, from Fair Villa, had... A flashlight and oh God, he's bringing uh, it up again. This is twenty years ago, by the way. And I uh, like hid it on the top of my closet, like uh, where you, you know, where most dads keep their guns or whatever, yeah. like, like the highest shelf in my closet. And I, I kept it up there. But I feel like the heat got to it up there. You yeah. know, it wasn't the good heat. for. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, but not yeah. Good. heat you rises. Yeah, it does know? rise. So at the top of the closet is like all this yeah, hot, hot up there. In there. It yeah, was yeah. like it was like having keep, it live in Guatemala. Yeah, yeah. I used to keep my uh, marijuana candies up there and yeah. melted them all. Why is your closet so hot? Dripping down into your shoes. And uh, so I, you know, a pleasure chest. Uh, yeah. uh, should every man have a pleasure chest? <laughs> like, I think every that? person should. It's just a yes. shoebox with a pillowcase in it. You throw all your toys in there, right? <laughs> that like, could be it. That yeah. works. Uh, that works. Yeah. I just don't. I don't think Andrea's not like mine. She took all the stuff and she puts it in my drawer. So like my womanizer's in my drawer. Hmm. Like it's all in my drawer. So like all the incriminating Everything's stuff. Everything's in my drawer. Incriminating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying. Like if anybody look at they're like, oh, 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 We do sell some really amazing toy storage bags where you can actually put a lock on them too. Uh, I so, need a lock on mine. Like you know, you because it's you know, we're. I feel like no matter how sophisticated you are and adult you are, like you see this. And like, oh, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you're you laugh a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and these goes you're in the uh, <laughs> But <laughs> you just look at it like, oh, but <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're babies. Yeah, because yeah, we're sorry. babies. Sorry, Deborah. Speaking we're of which, no, well, I had. Um, oh my gosh, she's got a baby. Where'd you get that baby? <laughs> well, I like it's like, a toy storage bag. And, anyway, and next oh. up for four twenty, we are actually selling weed. <laughs> 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 a little bit of weed. Uh, not not, not yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. But that, that, uh, that was kind of like my assortment. I, I do want to talk about, if you want to do a little adult Easter action. Okay. Um, we got yeah. some items for that. But this was just truly a sampling of what we carry on that whole 420 section. And it's so not come even. And check it out. It changes all the time. Yeah, too. it's not even the tip of the iceberg as far as yeah, the yeah. amount of stuff that they actually the have. Toys. Because you could not bring oh. all of the novelties in here. But yeah, what else yeah. we got? Um, So... We talked about Tanga eggs. Yes. They actually have it on our marquee right now at the Orlando store. Um, they released some new ones. So new patterns on the interior of the sleeves. They're really bold. Very cool. Would make a great um, adult yeah, themed the Easter basket. Great. I don't know if you guys use <clears throat> these, but we've had tons of listeners. This is the second most, second to the auto blow, the second most talked about product we have Yeah, are the Tanga eggs, which you can um, you can reuse them. It's yep. like a little latex stroker deal going on and mm. uh, the price point is extremely reasonable and it's a fun novelty and it's a purposeful novelty. Yeah, and it comes with a little bit of lube in there too, so uh, yeah, you're ready to go. Oh, we'll have to add that to the Van family Easter egg hunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy, <laughs> you found... If you find one there with uh, a Candy you can't eat inside. That's for daddy. <laughs> yeah, you found the Easy Beat Egg Curl. <laughs> nice. What's this one? This one is the Mesh. I'm a oh, Mesh man. Oh, the Mesh. Yeah, Mesh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Mesh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh. What's the What's Meshy about Once it? Once you go <laughs> Mesh, you know it's your Mesh. <laughs> That's what they say. What's okay, next? Let's go. Uh, so, <laughs> Happy Rabbit, one of my favorite companies, and I know I've brought some of their pieces before, but they do have a couple really nice kits. This is just like one of the smaller kits that they have. Has a really super cute little external vibe in there. Um, this is like a sixty dollars. It's all rechargeable when it comes to their products. Um, the, a great silicone bag to house your items. Nice. Also has, um, what else is in here? A little uh, menthol pleasure balm, which kind of gives you a tingle sensation. Okay. When you use it. And a super nice plushy um, blindfold. So these are really fun little kits. They make, well, like I said, we carry a few of them, but 
super gifty. Yeah, and it's Make, not yep. too it's not certainly too aggressive or crazy. You know, nope. it's kind of kind of nope. just <clears throat> middle of the road. Let yep. me ask Samantha so, a question. Uh, uh, oh, no. No. So thank you, Deborah. Oh, this is super nice. Every right. time we, uh, you know, there's a blindfold. Involved. Oh, check that out. You can lock yep. it right there. See that? Oh, okay. So you go there and you put that. You put like a little TSA lock in there, yep. and nobody's oh, right. touching your stuff. When I when I see the blindfold, I think like Samantha. What? This, this <laughs> oh. would you would be too paranoid for the blindfold. You don't right? know. No. No. She's with her husband. Oh. It's not, I mean, yeah, she's not yeah, gonna yeah. blindfold herself and throw herself in an <laughs> Uber trunk. But well, like, would you? I trust my husband. No, I know, but what if something hat? What if it, like you know you put the blindfold on, like he ties right. you up, right? And then, oh, now uh, we're tying up as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what kind of fantasies think, you got going on? I think, over there. I think it's part of it, right? This is what not you're thinking about. <laughs> so when Deborah comes in and you're like, I'll show you the blindfold. Holy smokes! And I think Samantha <laughs> blindfolded, tied up by her husband. This is what you think of? No, I don't think of it. I'm just you thinking said. That yeah, certain people I feel like would be too paranoid to be blindfolded. Like my wife's a paranoid person, so I feel like if I uh, blindfold her, to see if the wife will do it. And she do you would want be, to blindfold her. Yeah, I mean, I want to do any of this. <laughs> like, okay. you know, just all right. because it's all like it's like, fun, extra. But you like, hate fun more. Yeah, well, no, I like fun. I just don't do it because uh, you know it's hard for me to imagine myself go, like at, doing the extra effort to add some of this stuff in there. Okay, but I want to do it because it's something different that I've never experienced. I mean, it's, I experienced some of it. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Which one? The experience. <laughs> now that we're talking, why don't you walk us through, walk us through your experiences, yeah. sir? Uh, anyway. You want to know about me getting tied up? Let's, yeah. let's see oh what God. you've been doing. Yeah, what do yeah, you do? I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he's, no, he's what do you do? He's, <laughs> 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 what, what do you do? I don't. What? Why are you freaking out? I don't want to talk <laughs> about it. I don't want to talk you about really it. You really don't like to talk about that stuff, do you? No, it just I get uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> you That's know, fair. That's because fair. I can only talk honestly, and the <laughs> truth is, we'll set you free. <laughs> <laughs> We're really um, all right, all right, what do right. you got here? This is because that's beautiful. It's a it limited, looks like a karaoke a, microphone, I know, right? Limited edition by Lawan, which is a high-end wand manufacturer. It's there. Uh, it's a mini size, so it's a little more compatible. You know, are um, easy to pack and and take wherever you want it to go. Is this like a Hitachi styled? Kind of, yes. Um, and of course, I may not have a charge on this one. Um, I just grabbed it real quick. Yeah, from the it's shelf. really but nice. The though. whole idea is it's got really beautiful blue shimmer in it. We have um, so many cool special releases that we bring in just for seasonal efforts. We've got um, some other small wands now in, in beautiful spring colors. So, um, but it's got a, sorry, I couldn't get it no, running good. for you. But um, oh, yeah, it's so a nice. silicone top to it so it's soft on the very end of the product it's rechargeable and a, a really wonderful gift if you know someone that you know likes something that sparkles yeah and you want to upgrade yeah. a little bit yep upgrade your wand action so yeah that's a beautiful blue it, um, as far okay. as the history of vibrators go is it true? I can imagine that's that like the classic, right? Well, did it start where they were marketed as like personal massagers because no one talked about like you know, pleasure, sex in the fifties. My, yeah. yeah. my mom and dad yeah. had one, but they're it, big like, white wands like this, and yeah. they were like, "Hey, massage your back," but yeah. everybody knew what it was for, but they didn't talk my about legs, it. My legs, my back. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> 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 well, you know, the magic wand has been around for really one of the as far as consistently for a very long time, and they now make a plug-in edition rechargeable. They also just released, and I'll bring it in next time, is a mini version of the Magic Wand, and it's rechargeable. Um, so you don't have that huge honking wand. If you oh, want right, to go travel, right. you know, it, it, yeah, it wasn't yeah, always compatible. Yeah, cigarette lighter adapter. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm real excited about that. So we just got it in, so awesome. that's going to be fun. And then, you know, lastly, if you want to throw something else into that basket, we have the Aphrodite chocolates and I did bring one of uh, three different flavors so you guys can keep oh, them let's all them. eat these and then see if we uh, 69 <laughs> ourselves <today. laughs> what is uh, I wonder what the uh, like ingredients are that uh you know, <laughs> oh, they, like uh, it's, it's uh, a Spanish fly it's always um, been ho horny goat weed Spanish fly ginseng 
ginkgo biloba. Oh, Eat one and see what happens. Dark chocolate alone. Yeah. Is like Sometimes it's just bomb. dark chocolate. But yeah, ginseng is in here. Uh, there's salt palmetto, uh, yohimbe. Oh, that's good for my prostate. <laughs> no. Salt palmetto? Passion flower. So yeah, there's, uh, they can read their little blend that they have in there. I like but that. Uh, yeah, so if we're looking to kind of add some unique chocolate to that basket, I would recommend those. Yeah, sometimes it's just like the, uh, the suggestion. You know, it's nice if your chocolate, like, for instance, if I give her chocolate, she's like, oh, great chocolate. If the chocolate actually says aphrodisiac chocolate, she oh, knows yeah. where I'm going. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, you know which way the boat's pointed. You got to plant the seed, mm -hmm. uh, Inception. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. earlier on, you know, uh, that's uh, usually with me and my wife, it's... Uh, yes. I'll go to 7-Eleven, get your wine, but you know what you have to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you better not pass out on the couch. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get Yellowtail. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's 7-Eleven. But oh. if I get the Yellowtail, oh. oh, it is the big yeah. jug. Um. So what's uh what's that, Deborah? And you know, look, are if you were gonna make, if you want to do something really nice, those are a headband. Yeah, well, that could be a headband, but no, these are just we we now have this beautiful assortment I of love colors, the colors. Yeah. Um. Uh. For uh, we have you know a whole panty tables in all of our stores, but we just got these really cute little cheeky ones. Um. But we have a ton of new apparel in, and all the spring colors. Um. The really beautiful bright. Those are great. Um, yeah. Yellow is a big deal this year orange um the teal so stop by the stores because those fashions change out seasonally so if you haven't been in lately there's more arriving i know we have more coming in in may so definitely want to um, add that to any kind of gift that you might be giving tom pan have you ever purchased your wife panties i have not and i have part of the reason mm. i don't understand them that's it. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, you said it like, like I don't know. Is I that one good? Not more under and more, you're convincing me you're a robot. <laughs> I do not understand love. <laughs> like what? What, what are what these panties? Like, speak yeah. of? Why would you put a small piece of hold filled cloth <laughs> on your genitals? in each hole. <laughs> no, no, but I, like, I don't know what kind is best or what kind what she what, would uh, like uh, better. Look like at what. The, take note. The top, the bottom, the look, middle, the back. Why the don't? <laughs> Well, look at what she wears huh? and take note of the times when she's wearing something and she says, these make me feel confident or I feel beautiful. And then you go and you, you buy more of those. I just don't know which ones those are. And there's all types. And there are all types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will give you that. That's because why we have a staff to help navigate that. But sometimes you. my They'll wife will go you. to the mall and she'll be like, I got a coupon from Victoria's Secret in the mail. And I got to go in there and get a free panty. Get my free panty. <laughs> and she yes. goes with a free panty card. And she puts a free panty card down there. Like, you can only get the ones that are uh, gray. that look like the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. out of season <laughs> ones. Period yeah. panty. Yeah. You got to buy the gray period yeah, panty. Thick. The big, fat, thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like canvas. They're like canvas panties. No canvas yeah. panties at Fairville. Yeah, yeah, you got the pretty sexy. We got panties. the pretty lacy. You know, my wife's panties stuff. look like painter pants. They're <laughs> <laughs> all the more thick. reason they're to thick. go get a sexy pair yeah, yeah. of panties. My wife for wears your like thong Carhartt thong. <laughs> yeah, like why are the boy <laughs> baggy? Yeah, why do you have a, a hammer loop on your panties? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it's a we can correct that. We can correct this. This is. <laughs> <laughs> we got your answer. Okay. But right, no, well. lots of lots of great apparel. I can't stress enough to come check it out. I'm really thrilled. And a lot of new body stockings yep. that uh, in bright colors. Glow. Amazing. So that's like the new thing, right? The big bright colors. Yes. And, okay, good. Good. We yes. need we need some more fun. Some more uh there are multiple locations of Fair Villa. <laughs> um, we've got the main big Fair Villa mega store, the mega store. OBT, yeah. a location inside Secrets Hideaway, location on I Drive, location over on the coast, mm -hmm. and of course Key West. Um, you can find it all at fairvilla.com. Deborah, thanks so much oh, for coming you're in. Welcome, thanks Thank for you. stopping by. We'll see you next month. Uh, all right, we'll be right back with more corporate time. Welcome to a Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Cavity Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know that the operation man, the guy that you pull all his little plastic the bones. Patient, yeah. His, yeah, the patient. His name is Cavity Sam. Because of How the about body Sam cavity. Yeah, the body cavities, I guess they're saying, not uh, teeth cavities, right? But, right, uh, right. Yeah. It's still weird that they call they him They should have named him Bob D. Cavity. <laughs> or, I mean, at least be a little more creative than Cavity Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Operation Johnny? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> Operation Johnny's a whole different thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what Operation Johnny is. Uh, John, Steve, and Don Price is here. How are you guys doing? I'm uh, doing well. Good so, to see well. you guys. So They're we're here to talk about Operation, the board game. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're here to talk about St. Baldrick's, um, which is an event we promote every year. Um, and it's going to be at Johnny's April 23rd from 2 to 6. Operation Johnny's. And uh, real quick, uh, now John is from the Orlando Fire Department, and Steve is from the Orange County Fire Department, and you guys have been, uh, you know, supporting St. Baldrick's for a long time now. So, kind of give the audience an idea of what St. Pa- St. Baldrick's does. Okay, I'll go ahead. So, St. Baldrick's it's a national uh, foundation. It's based out of California, and they have feeder events all over the the U.S. And mm. we run. One of the feeder events and all of the money that uh, that we raise, we send back to them and they use that money for research and also for survivorship programs for pediatric children. Awesome. And um, and then people actually shave their head and get donations from friends and yeah. family. It's kind of the call to action. It's kind of the yeah. thing you do. To it's the gimmick. Yeah. It's yeah. a gimmick they roll with. So, you know, St. Baldrick's is a play on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Normally we have this event, you know, somewhere around St. Patrick's Day, but just, just due to the Omicron coming around, you know, when, when we were setting the event up, we said, let's give it a little more time. Uh, we want to be sensitive wow. to to everything going on so we we pushed it back about a month uh but yeah the concept is we we grow our hair out and you can get people to make pledges you know to you mm. and then on the 23rd you go in you shave your head to just kind of show kind of like a sign of solidarity to all of those yeah. children that don't have the choice and they just lose their hair yeah and uh yeah so you go around and it's a good conversation piece you know you get especially being firefighters if you can get your whole crew to go out there and do it or somebody who just never has their head shaved you know uh, whether they work in an office or wherever you walk in and all of a sudden you're you're bald and people are kind of going hey what's what's going on and then you have a chance to kind of to share your story and and share the you know, raise the awareness i, I like it it's the best time in our environment not to be made fun of for having a shaved head <laughs> because yeah. oh, I gotta, will smith oh i'm sorry uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're right i didn't even think about that i didn't, I didn't, didn't even think about that. i'm so will smith down i didn't even think about let's that. talk about how you guys bullied don price in the on the news today okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys, did. You guys right. bully yeah. the old man you get the old man out there you're mean to him so and don, don's our friend don price uh brought us some jersey mics we appreciate that don thank you don um and uh you guys were doing other media today um now how is it for you guys doing media because i feel like like you, well, we're you, the last stop. I feel like, yeah, you know, but you I guys mean, are uncomfortable doing. You like, is it? Is I it, don't know where to put my hands. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I don't know. Do I put them in my pocket? I've been told. Don't put no. them in your pocket. I you know, know what they think when you put them in I your know. pocket. Don't do and they that. Do those little promo bumps where you got to wave for like. Yeah, you got to wave. Like, oh, we've never. They've yeah. never asked us to uh, do those. Right. We're like coming up next. We've got firefighters. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're middle-aged men, and we're all up there. And then it's like, it but you seems guys are like, attractive. You're good-looking guys. Yeah, it's the hair. Yeah, come out on the 23rd. Girls love fire firefighters right yes i think the rule is that you guys stereotypically are not fat slobs you stereotypically firefighters are like hot dudes ah uh, i think that's the stereotype yeah uh, yeah yeah and it, don you get lumped into that because you're with the firefighters well, I, and I, you're a hot dude <laughs> well, no, i'm with the sub guys i'm a little he little handles the hold on, hold on there's two firefighters and a submit on the couch i don't know which one's which <laughs> Yeah, he told us earlier he just handles the pickles. He doesn't say yeah. oh, yeah. oh, he's a so, pickle handler. So back to bullying Don. So yeah. well, you guys are doing yeah. a news hit. They just hit. called him a pickle pump. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this guy's back here puffing pickles, and we're out here putting out fires because we're the real guys. And you're doing a news hit, and uh, Don is there, you know, uh, supporting you guys. And, and then, then what do you guys think of a plan? Like, you're like, go, <laughs> go poop in one of their cubicles. Like, like, you're like, walk around confused in the back. Well, you showed me a picture. Yeah. yeah. And Don's and just it, walking. It, in. And it looks. If I were a newscaster there, or if I were like my wife used to work at Wesh and stuff like that, Which I would have been. I would have thought that this is highly disrespectful. That <laughs> well, so, so when when Don got there, it was quite apparent that he didn't. It wasn't going to take long to shave. 
his head. <laughs> and so that's I'm when, when, yeah, I like that. when when we were out in the parking lot, the the old person joke started, and uh, so we Poor we Don. said, you know, hey, you sandwiches for crying. Yeah, we we He's said, listen, you free stuff. when if if and when they make a comment about how you don't have much, much hair, we'll just say, well, we thought we were short on time, so we wanted to make sure that at least somebody had their head shaved. That's why we brought Don. Uh, it's like when you already have the casserole cooked and you bring it out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, here yeah. we have somebody already shaved. This is what it will. Yeah. When look they shave like. off time in the cooking shows. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So so it started there, and then of course even even those that can, can we say the station? Are we allowed to? Yeah. Fox, yeah. Fox, we, Fox we thirty five right with, Shout with out Amy, to Fox. Amy and Caulfield? Danielle. Yeah. Yep. Love Amy. She's yep. awesome. So uh, so they started joining in on the fun. You know. Um, you know, talking about oh, yeah, well, push the old man down, <laughs> take him, take him in his ribs, well, they smash a somebody's yeah. face. They, they take said, that, you double man. They said something even before they came and met with us. They said yeah. something on the air. Yeah, they when they showed the first promo of us just doing this wave. Yeah, yeah. Like Jamie gets on there and he goes, "Well, the the one guy on the end looks like he was already shaved." <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So we said uh, somebody made the comment. Well, he he's been preparing for about fifteen years naturally yeah. to do this. show. Oh my God! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. The all the was throwing shade. Oh, yeah. And yeah, all Jamie. Don did, all <laughs> Don did, is bring you fresh sliced turkey on a bun. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what they didn't tell you though is John got me with the manscaper. Oh, you that's know. true. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You pulled out your ding dong. Oh, my God. We had two sets. Of I call clippers. this my manscaper. <laughs> John brought two sets of clippers, and one were a standard set of like wall clippers, and the other ones were like manscape. And <laughs> those are for and, your genitals. And he, yeah, and yeah. so he had walked out. I had to test it, so they. I smelled. hope you like it, Mike's way. <laughs> they, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they smelled a little musty, so uh, so we were pretty sure that he uses them at the station the whole crew, oh, the whole crew uses them oh god you yeah. didn't share them <laughs> what is this jack <laughs> Yeah. Like, What's that? I'm Don Price, and this yeah. is called the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, luckily, Don has been on the show before, so he has a good... Yeah, he knows everybody yeah, in Orlando. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, when we suggested to him, hey, why don't you just walk around like you are a silver alert, completely uh, lost, oh, and no. your meds have worn off, he was like, okay. Because <laughs> so he when, is fun. He's yeah, very fun. So, when Amy and Danielle came in, somebody was like, okay, you know, hey, if you want to get back over in your He's spot. Like, no, he was I'm like, walking. no, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm wondering. And yeah. so he just wandered around and then he looked up oh, and at, they hate at that. nothing. Because <laughs> oh. I do everything I'm told. They're like, you need to sit here, suck a gun and put your arms here. And I'm like, yes, sir. I do everything. Yeah. Uh, he was awesome. <laughs> it's it's funny because we've done news hits too and the perception Why is... Why do you feel the need to say that? Do you feel like <laughs> no, no, no. You feel like they're no, trying to... No, you guys to... are better than us. No, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm saying he because... He feels threatened. Because no. I, I... Every time I'm surprised how they do it with such a small crew yeah. Like because when I'm watching the news, I just like in my mind there's an army of people behind the scenes. Literally like, two people. There. <laughs> there's two, a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like you're like there's nobody here. Well, the cameras yeah. are robots like, now, right? You know, and then they ha they they're like you know, and they just do their own thing. Well, we've been going for seven or eight years, and Elwin, like the, the the guy Elwin, he. He's the only guy we ever talk to when we go. Yeah, He's, yeah. There's usually one. Yeah. There's like one yep. lifer there that's been there 35 years yep. or whatever. Yeah, and there's then one like, guy will come up to you and he'll have a mic and he'll be like, all right, let me get this down your comment, big dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's and him. He does it. And then I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then thank you, sir. And he's like, all right. And then, and then, then like, right here? yeah, you could sit at this person's desk who works here. Yeah. <laughs> like You're sitting there. Yeah, I'm sitting at, you know, somebody's desk. I'm looking at their baby pictures. I'm typing on their keyboard. I think it's honestly like two people. Besides from the people on camera, there's just two people running the entire thing. Like well, there's uh, a producer, and yeah, then you're yeah. gonna have some techs on hand. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and that's it. And like now, it's all automated and stuff. It's crazy how they get away with doing the news with such a little amount of people. Um, Did you guys we, wear shoes on the news? Uh, do sandals count? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I was uh, gonna bring this up to help you. Don't think where I'm going yes. is gonna hurt you. I wanted to bring up that. Now, did you wear those sandals, those Olakai's on the news? I did. Okay. Yeah. There you go. See, I, I'm more. I uh, like identify more with firefighters. Like I feel <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I could fit in with any fire department okay. instantly. Yeah. Like uh, just be uh, one of the bros. Like yeah. I get in there. One of the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers like, in smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm I, like the firefighter of podcast. 
podcasters. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's what I call yeah. myself. Uh, speaking of firefighters, um, I we were talking to a Coe Fire Department, and they were saying that they're a larger fire department. <laughs> they're they're a little, little, yeah, a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> they take their oh, time. Coe, less fires. They, yeah, less fires. They take their time putting out the fires <laughs> to make sure it's thorough. Thorough. <laughs> so uh, they were saying that just like every place, there's an employee shortage of yeah. firefighters, and which I thought was crazy because at a, I remember at a time and Shorty was actually saying you know, like my buddy's I a firefighter. I never said anything about that. <laughs> no, my buddy's a firefighter down <laughs> in Miami and he was on a 3,000 person waiting list when he was, I mean, this was 10 years ago I think whatever. Days are gone. Oh, man. yeah. No. And people need firefighters now. Is there still waiting lists and stuff? Well, for my department, we hire a lot from down south because they're, they still can't get jobs there. So we hire a lot from down south and that's kind of the ongoing joke. The before we invest too much time with them, we were like, listen, are you going back down there? Are you are you going to get a job here, ride this out until you make their list and you know get your medic or whatever it may be? And then are you going to head back down or should we actually put some time why, into Why do people want to be firefighters down south? It feels like it's more of a headache. Like there's more, more people, people. More traffic. Yeah. More money. And crazy more, more money? Yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. Money. My money drives everything. Yeah, I mean, cost of living's higher, but they're, if they're from there, it's... It's Family. home, so yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm a porn joke. Home. He just built a pool in his backyard. I'm like, pool? <laughs> like, yeah. this is what rich people do. You built it from scratch? I'm like, you're a firefighter. He's like, and he's like, yep, work four days a month. You know, <laughs> <I'm> like, four <laughs> days. Uh, don't say Kelly days. It's on the oh, car. Yeah. It's on the bingo uh, <laughs> The uh, Yeah, I think Jim Colbert's building a pool, too. And the radio guys yeah. and firefighters, yeah. rich. Radio guys and firefighters. <laughs> firefighters down south. The yeah. Miami firefighters. Radio guys and firefighters, same amount of work. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured that out. It blew my own mind. I blew my own mind. I'm like, holy crap. All the math made sense. A lot, <laughs> A lot of making chili. A lot of making chili. And good ass chili. Jimmy makes top tier award winning championship chili. So, so it's more of a problem down south than, or is it, like, can you get a job if you go through like the normal uh, schooling and everything pretty instantly up here, or is it still like uh, you putting up, you know, getting on a waiting list and stuff? Because I mean, being a firefighter is a good job. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, overall, the important job. Even the perception of firefighters, like who is going to say or not like firefighters? You know what I'm saying? Like I got him in everybody the family, in the and I think I my my uh, I guess I just call him my brother, uh, brother-in-law Rhett. He's a firefighter, and yeah. it's awesome. I, I'm very extremely proud of him. He has probably the best head on his shoulders of any person that I know. Like he's an impressive human. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and for my family, there's not a lot of us that are impressive. I, I threw myself <laughs> in there. I'm yeah, a little yeah. impressive that I'm you know not. You know, at some yeah. re research or in some sort of rehab or something. I would no, imagine but. we we don't. My department, we don't have a wait list. The problem is you have to pass so many background checks and everything to, you know, to get the job because you want people that you can trust going into somebody's home and they're not going to, you know, take anything. And, you know, we, we are around oh, narcotics. Oh, the thing that Tom and I want to do <laughs> yeah. when we take the hose and we blow all of your pictures off your wall. <laughs> have you guys ever done that? I know we ask you this every year. <laughs> Or have we asked you that? I, I'm okay. not allowed well, to speak on high that. High pressured hose, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you're standing there, well, and then you see all these stupid bowling trophies, and you just <laughs> blast them off the yeah, mantle. Well, me and Daniel's funny. And you see a Vizio TV, and yeah. you're like, Vizio, that's a piece of garbage. Bah! And you blow a hole right through like, it. Like, me and Daniel's fantasy has always been if we are firefighters, and oh. we're putting out a house fire. After the fire's out. After like, the like fire's we out. Did, we spray it out and say it's like it's in the kitchen. You know, a little whatever. bit. But yeah. then we open your fridge and blast all of them. Oh, my God. All of those. You got all Hummels. You're, you're, you know, you got a problem with your tummy, so you're drinking a lot of Slim Fast. I'm going to blow every can of Slim Fast. I'm going to blow every bit of yeah, kale yeah. out of your crispers. Yeah, yeah. We'll blow all the frames off the wall. Yeah, everything. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Like, if you have well, my your dream. Your bed sheet's off. My <laughs> dream would be that you have, like, one of those little shelves that has a thousand spoons on it. And I would just <laughs> blow your spoon collection. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and there no, you'll never find Missouri. That spoon's so, a lot of oh, So, basically, you chandelier. guys would not pass the background. Check. Uh, no, we would because no, yeah, we're yeah, putting no. out the fire. It's just when we're done, it's no. like, look, I put out the fire. That's for you. Now, yeah, for yeah. me, I get five minutes of blasting your photos yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, we don't have any background of doing this. This is a foreground. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, blow your pictures into the background. So, uh, how can people sign up if they want to uh, like shave their head, raise money, or stuff? Is that already done? Can they still get involved? It's next week. If they go to St. Baldrick's website, can they, uh, you know, go to your division of raising money and uh, get involved? Yeah, just go to stbaldrick's.org, type in Orlando, 
Ours should be like probably about one of the top. Yeah, it's gonna say something. Return of Johnny's Big Shave. Or, All right, or you could just come out and uh, we can do a quick yep. registration at the event. I've always wanted you and I to shave our heads because you have I told me it for every year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's well, all yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the chat's calling you. Out about that. Yeah. You've had thing. a few grandmothers pass away. I would just say that every yeah. every <laughs> the guys with the sandals are inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, listen, I'll just uh, now, write a check. I, I have told <laughs> you guys before, I have no problem. I've shaved my head recently. I want to do it. My wife doesn't want me to do it, but I don't care about hair that much because I have good hair and it'll grow back. It doesn't bother me. I'll shave my head with you guys at Johnny's. But I have been told that this guy, if he does shave his head, looks. <laughs> you have told me, and I can't remember oh, what you look like. Yeah, he says he looks like redneck Butterbean. Uh, he, no, like, <laughs> like King Kong Bundy's King Kong grandson. Bundy. Yeah. King Kong, yeah, King Kong yeah. Bundy's yeah. grandson. Well, you know what? If you have a shaved head, you need a beard like uh, no. John Travolta. <laughs> like when you know. Well, every... No, then you just look like the king and I. <laughs> you, know, you look like you know who was that guy? But when Earl you... Brenner, or so, you know, right? Earl like Brenner. Brenner. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm but, showing my age you need to have or God be able to him. have <laughs> facial hair i feel like yeah, he's dead. when you have nothing you look like a uh, thumb yeah yeah a thumb, <laughs> uncle fester or whatever you know but i want to see you so bad with just like your smooth face and your smooth uh, oh my god <laughs> i think i would laugh until honestly i think i'd laugh myself to death so again johnny's uh april 23rd from two to six uh, just head by there because you could also just donate to St. objects and yep. go by johnny's have a beer it's a good time it's uh, the easiest thing you'll do for charity yeah, so. it's uh, it's kid friendly. So we have yep. a bounce house and we have face painting and some other things for the kids. Home Depot comes out every year and they do those little wooden kits where you can bang a hammer and get your frustration out. Oh, those are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're for the kids. <laughs> well, I buy them too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. Like, yeah. Home yeah, Depot's no, like, no, get yeah. your frustration out. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you had a hard day. There's a 45 yeah, year old man over here putting together all of the toys. <laughs> yeah, if you can grow a beard, you can't You can't go to the Home Depot area. You're a creeper. So, Don, uh, let's end with this. What kind of sub did I get today? <laughs> because I didn't respond to the email. Yeah, I just said surprises. Uh, okay. We oh, got yeah. a lot going on. I like the Italian. It's got what pickles. Is it, it Mike's way? I like it's, it. All it's the Mike's juice. way. Everything's Mike's way. Right. Uh, yeah. There's an Italian in there. There's tuna. There's turkey. One. There's ham. There's John's got his name on Italian it tuna. <laughs> you know how you can tell an Italian tuna? Oh, no. There's <laughs> hair under the fence. <laughs> 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 say that. I don't, I don't, know. That. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I just made it up. It sounds, it sounds stupid. There's, uh, there's club <laughs> subs in there. I, I just right. gave an assortment. Well, guys, thanks for coming in. Uh, for you know, uh, um, uh, we're <laughs> hoping that uh, you come in next year and please support. We're hoping that you come in next year, <laughs> <laughs> barring that any of you die. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> what well, well, you know, I just suspect like someone's going to hear this. So Don, I know. We're talking about you. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Mike is going to be like, get, up, get out of there. <laughs> don't I'll bring be, him anything. I'll be in a wheelchair. And then your boss is going to be like, this doesn't help us. Uh, <laughs> don't go in there again. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Welcome back to A Corporate Time. Emails, voicemails. Where do you want to start? Females. Email. Let's start with an email. All right. All right. Uh, this email is in response to Dan talking about how he wanted to do a uh, Dance Dad Taco Meetups after his or during the dance what competitions? Yeah, so on? I'll refresh. So if you are a dad in uh, any of these cities, I've got Sarasota coming up. I've got Charleston. Yeah, Charleston, South Carolina coming up. I've got St. Cloud coming up. And then I think there was one more, but I don't remember what it was. There is one more, but it might be tentative. But I'm looking for people that want to go um, while Maisie's dancing. I get a lot of downtime and I got nothing to do. I want you to take me on a tour of tacos in your city. So, uh, Charleston is spoken for. I think I got a guy. Is that the guy? This is a St. Cloud guy. Oh, okay. Uh, best tacos in St. Cloud is Rancho Chico's. Just let me know when you will be there so I can join you. All right. He says he can't be in the chat. So, if you All want right. to Rancho save Chico's. This, uh, yep, save that. And then we, we got another guy. We got a couple of mediums in South Carolina that said, hey, if you're here, your family. Uh, let me know. Yeah, and I'm going to take you around to the best taco spots in Charleston. So, I'm like, all right, let's do it. Cool. Um, they uh, St. Cloud has really like I just remember old St. Cloud where my pop up lived and you know in like that neighborhood. It's and, different like, now, yeah. And uh, they, there's a lot of stuff in St. Cloud now. Like uh, even you know to have pork. I almost moved there. 
Really? Yeah, when I was looking for a house. Because they so, have brand Cloud? new, yeah, there's like brand new houses and they're really nice, but you got to watch out for those property taxes. You know, I'm not necessarily opposed, even though I do love living in the city. Like I, I enjoy being kind of like near where, where there's stuff, you know, like whether it be fast food or restaurants or just humans, you know, or parks. Yeah. You know, I enjoy that. Sometimes I find myself as I get older, like thinking, oh, it'd be cool to have, you know, something in the middle of nowhere that's kind of more quiet where I could, you know, kind of tinker or drive around in a golf cart or a four-wheeler or something you know that's kind of cool they both have their pros and cons mm-hmm. having property has always been a dream of mine it's cool um, <clears throat> i'll probably never have it but why uh, not just because i can't imagine um you know buying move a place. out to geneva with jimmy or jimmy yeah, got a nice spot it. man it's nice yeah i guess your life changes so it's like who knows in 15 years depends like on the like phase a, you're you know. in yeah yeah but, i think for jim you know like i can't speak for him i'm sure we could get him on the show to, to talk about it but i I feel pretty confident, and I think from what he told me, he didn't like being up on people. Like, he didn't like... I don't either. Yeah, and so I could see you being in like kind of like a place like him, you know? Like, I think if you lived where I'm at, it might bother you a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Although I do, I hit the damn town home lottery. My neighbors are amazing. You know, I hear nightmares about people, like... Yeah. Being, you know, rude or I literally have the nicest neighbors. I know all of them. I talk to all of them and they're just really sweet. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you did too. Could, you, we, we joke around about Tom's cast of characters on his street, but they're some of the nicest humans. Like you have good, you lucked out. It's Sam that usually, well, I don't know how it's changed, but you were the one that you were like, I don't know about that guy. I don't know about that guy's moving out. I don't know about this guy or that guy. Or was that your old place? Uh, no, it's this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a new lady. She's crazy as hell. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll monitor it. I think she wants to go biking around the neighborhood with me now. And kill I, you? That I was out there <laughs> roller skating. She was uh, giving me words of encouragement. <laughs> oh, I bet you love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to be sure she's a crackhead. <laughs> like, I bet you love the chirper crackhead. <laughs> Moving is too much of a pain in the ass to me. Like, uh, Jimmy, has, like he's moved five times since I've known him. Uh, he and, doesn't. It doesn't matter to him. And he's, he's fine tough. with it. Like, he's tough with moving. And then he'll move to a place, redo it, spend uh, five years, and flip it, work, make some money, and then move to another place. Like we redid he, our. He must have ADD as well, right? Because oh, that's he, manic. No, he's fast. Think, no, he's I think fast. He moves bad. on to a next project. Yeah, yeah. We so should he gets, get him he gets on, sick of it. He goes on to the next. Let's. Yeah. We should get him on to talk about it. Like to talk about like the redoing of the houses and stuff like that. That's a good idea. But like we redid our entire house, and I'm like, it was time so, to move. No, it. <laughs> was so much work that I'm yeah. like we're dying in this coffin <laughs> because yeah. this I'm not doing this again like I and uh, in fact not until that crow gets at you I made a vow I was like never again this is uh, oh my th- god you made a vow you never make vows because it was just so much work that I'm like I'm not gonna move to another place and I'll do it all over again right. Jimmy's fine well, with that if but you move to a place that has everything you want you don't have to do any renovation well it's kind of hard. it's hard though because there's always something that you want to change to your yeah. personal it's like preference getting a new yeah. position and you're the new manager you come in and you scrap everything because you need to justify your job yeah hard to find a house that has everything exactly the way you want it like eventually you're like ah, i want to move this around or change this and it's like all that's a pain in the ass we've held off on a lot of the stuff that we were going to do like we did our floors and the plan was to do floors and then do uh cabinets and then just but then we did floors and then we paused for a little bit and then pandemic and then it's kind of like well are we going to sell this? What are we going to do here? Well, let us just hold out. And that's how things get dated in your home, right? Yeah. Where you hold. And that's where we're at right now. All of my fixtures, all of the little knobs in my home, they're all 05, 06. You can see it. Mm, but yeah. I can't justify like gutting it and doing everything when Andrea is like, well, do we want to find a new place? Are we like, I'm like, I don't know. We can't find anything now. Yeah, right now it's hard to find. Yeah, so I unless don't even you, unless new construction. Right, yeah. and I'm no, yeah. I'm not interested in that. That's uh, that's what everybody's saying. It's like yeah, new that's construction far as me. is uh, is the way to go, and they are building anywhere they can. Oh, like yeah. if you look around, every little like woods, like oh that uh, three yeah. blocks of woods is being torn down yep. to build stuff yeah. on. Like they any sort of like lot for sale. Like it, I used to see a lot more lots for sale randomly. Like hey, no. th- these are some woods for sale. I don't yeah. like they are trying to build wherever they can. Yeah, I saw one the other day. This was interesting too because I thought this was sort of funny. I saw a house where uh, the sign actually went up. It said for sale, and I'm like, oh my god, I never see for sale signs because they usually go so fast. The next day it was gone. Yeah. I thought that was funny. I was like, it made it one day. It didn't even, probably didn't even need to be up. It was probably going under contract as that 
young boy had been uh you know given the job to drive out there and put the post up and came down the next day yeah yeah um i got a voicemail you want to run with this one yep. it's about uh it's about the topic of chirping so i'm gonna go back on tom's side of stop chirping because <laughs> i've been going to Publix a lot lately and they've been chirping a lot and so i've been trying to chirp back and i just happened to roll through a kfc and this kfc girl sounded like she had an accent so i asked her i rolled through i thought about it i didn't think anything and then i asked her i said hey where are you from because she had such a heavy accent or at least i thought what was an oh, accent no. then it turns out i said hey where are you from oh sorrento down the road then i realized no that's not a british accent that is a special needs accent and i felt so stupid that's what you get for chirping. Well, wait a minute. What the guy's <laughs> admitting is that like he can't talk to like a special needs person. He's like, he's like, I yeah. thought you were British, but now that you're special needs, <laughs> yeah. like I don't know what's happening there, right? Like, no, he just he embarrassed himself because he thought it was an accident. Well, who did he embarrass himself to? Himself? Yes. He didn't. That's embarrass, a Tom. It, he didn't That's embarrass Tom. him to the lady. The lady doesn't even. Yeah, know. she doesn't know. Yeah, yeah she oh. don't know. So don't worry about it's it, man. Tom you're embarrassment. Good. You're good. Um, let's do another email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so uh, we recall the voicemail about the goat, correct? Where the guy, uh, yeah, oh man, pot, you know, was hitting a goat. Yeah, a lot of people. Goat. Now, most people decided that with the goat story, they were like, "Not real." This guy was mm. trying to shock jock and be crazy. This is this is uh, he's defending himself here. He says, "I hadn't realized that people were going to think it was animal abuse." This was a mega huge 160 pound Nubian stud billy goat. He was a total a hole and would go full speed, ram his head into stuff for fun, and chase me and my kids, trying to F us every time he broke out. The whole thing did teach him a little respect. He never tried to F with me again after that. So he's not not saying he didn't yeah. beat the goat. <laughs> he's doubling down a little bit, right? Like he's saying, I did beat the goat. But he was a big goat. But me and the goat were friends, and he was a large goat. And he learned his lesson. Well, I don't think goats learn their I don't think that goat's like, oh, man, I really learned my do that. I don't think that's how goat logic works. <laughs> There's a video on TikTok that the Van family likes to watch okay, together. Should I, should I pull this up? Yeah, you can pull it up. Oh, look look up uh, uh, Cram the Goat. <laughs> um, Cram the Goat. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it should, it should uh, there it is. Oh, you and so, I used to watch this. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, I'm familiar. Yeah, it, I, this is a third world of sadness at its finest. Now the the popular one that we like to watch as a family is a guy doing voice. Oh, Tony Baker, the comedian. Oh, is it Tony Baker? I think it is Tony Baker. Hold on, I'm gonna get your Is this the one? Bike up out of here, man! The crown. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is Tony Baker. <laughs> and every time the goat rams one of these people in some sort of village, um, he is saying "cram." And this goat is uh, on a crazy warpath to uh, headbutt as many people as they can. People are running from them. Like uh, some guy tries to kick it. Yeah. Uh, Here's a little <laughs> cram the ram. Get your bike up out of here, man! The cram. Nobody want to see your little punk bike, man. Get your little crown out here with your lavish bike. Thinking you better. Okay, all right, you dodge on that one. Kudos to you. Oh, you think you're going to ride off into the sunset? Just crown. <laughs> Feel every piece of these rams. All right, there you go. There's <clears throat> Cram the Ram. Yeah, yeah. So, me and my sons, <laughs> we we start running around the house headbutting each other, screaming Yelling cram. cram. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, that goat, you could kick that goat as hard as you can. Not and hurt it's it. not yeah. going to care. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That thing is a wild, tough ass animal. I, I, my wife does this all the time where. She looks at wild animals and she puts her own emotion into them. She's like, that turtle uh, or that bird uh, is feeling pain or the hook uh his beak or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that bird doesn't... That yeah. bird is hard as hell. <laughs> like, it's lived this life in the wild, uh, eating... Like, it thinks... It almost died every day of its life. The bird. Like, yeah. Yeah, the bird has almost died every day. You know how hard that will make you? That bird doesn't care about anything. Like it's it lives every day to survive, and that's it. So you could put it through a lot, and it'll be fine. Cram. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, cram exactly. Um, you want to do email or voicemail? Um, voicemail. All right, let's go with. I thought this one was pretty interesting. Hey, Tom and Dan and Sam, uh, you guys have been talking about like uh, bands and music, like uh, you know, in school and stuff like that. Some lately. Uh, when I was in the junior high, 
like sixth or seventh grade, everybody at my small little school had to take like band for a year and you had to be like in the band. And I was just wondering if this was anything like Daniel's experience in the band, but our uh, band director would assign everyone the instrument he thought they should play. And I wanted to be cool, sexy sax man, <laughs> but he looked in my mouth and said that I had trumpet teeth. So <laughs> I, oh, no. <laughs> You've got trumpet teeth. Get over I, there. I, I don't know. Look that up, Sam. See if trumpet teeth is like an actual thing. I pause it there. He continues. Is Play trumpet like Mr. Tom Van and his old band, the uh, heterosexual lesbians. The heterosexual lesbians. There it is. But, what I found interesting, uh, and it reminded me of this when <laughs> you guys were talking, was I feel like our band director was horribly sexist or something like that. That's possible. Uh, because everyone who played a brass instrument was a boy. Everyone who played a flute or clarinet was a girl. And saxophone was like split 50-50. No, but it was all like the nerd drama kids no. were playing the saxophone. No, you're okay. He he will continue. I pause it. He's a little bit wrong. I don't believe it is possible that your band director was sexist. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, like, what are the odds? I mean, there there are a lot of sexist people out there. But I think what you're describing are the natural odds of the instruments. Most brass instruments that I saw played were boys. Brass being your trombone, tuba, trumpet, stuff like that. Most of your woodwinds. Your sax, let's go with saxophone, would be split 50-50. You'd have a lot of guys and a lot of girls. Uh, most of your drummers, a mixture of like kind of rough around the edges D-heads and punks. Yeah, like, like mostly dudes. Mostly dudes, uh, yeah. but some girls, you know, they, the one. if I'm just being real, you'd get the girls in there that might be a lesbian, might be an outcast, might be a, you mm. know, somebody that got picked on a lot, but she'd be in there. We had a, a lot of drummers that were like the outcasts. Um, let's see, what else? My, Flute, all girls, mostly yeah, yeah. girls. You did maybe one dude, but you knew he was gay, right? Aww. You knew he was, and it wasn't a bad. It wasn't. We didn't pick on him. He was just the gay guy. Is the flute guy. It's no big deal. My wife played the oboe. Yeah, uh, oh. also yeah. A, nerds. Yeah, yeah. So according to HornMatters.com, Horn Matters. Uh, <laughs> this guy says that he's observed that players with the easiest, almost freakishly easy high ranges have either a slight gap in their teeth or crooked teeth. In either case, it seems to allow a slightly freer vibration of the lips. When they are in the formation of making the highest so notes. So when you have, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got good trumpet teeth. I'm gonna start calling people with crooked teeth. Trumpet, yeah, trumpet teeth. teeth. Trumpet <laughs> teeth. <laughs> I got Dizzy Gillespie over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Louis Armstrong. Uh, I had that no, is interesting. I had no idea your teeth or like even your lips. Oh well, really obviously, matter yeah, yeah, your embouchure. I know. The gap in sense. the front teeth. It's called may your embouchure. Trumpet playing. Yeah, says. like with yeah. with flute, you've got to relax your embouchure in order to get that. You know, when you're blowing over the. The, that little hole in the flute to make the noise. You know, same thing with trumpet. You need to vibrate your lips. Your embouchure has got to be correct. You know what's okay? When I too had to pick a like an elective when I went to middle school and I picked band. And I remember, and this is one of the only memories I have of like being a child. But I remember like going to the orientation night from like fifth grade to sixth grade and then on the, in the orientation they had all the electives you could pick or whatever and like band and like something chorus, or whatever chorus yeah. and then in band like then they allowed you to like fill out the form like you know like you pick this elective and then you can put what instrument you wanted to play right right <clears throat> but is it like and i have a lot of friends in like uh the military they when they join the military, they let they them, evaluate you. Well, they let them like uh, like write down where Your they top three places. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it doesn't even matter. You. Yeah, yeah. But, like it doesn't matter what they yeah, write. It's not guaranteed you're going to get that. No. Yeah. In fact, I don't even know if they look at it. I and like all my friends later on. <laughs> yeah, they, it's just <laughs> false. Uh, hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's it, to make you feel. Yeah, like you, you could have, go to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll make you feel like you have some sort of control. Right. So is it like that with band? Because I imagine yes. a lot of kids are like, I want to play drums because of the coolest, and like we're giving you. Uh, you know, Trump trombone teeth. or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I picked trumpet, so I got that. So, but if I picked well, drums, they tried to say you had you trumpet probably would have gotten drums. <laughs> I don't know because I feel like most like boys, fifth grade boys, were, were, like they're gonna pick drums, right? Like just because it's cooler in their mind than the yeah. other instruments. Most of my friends were drums and, and <laughs> trumpet, and then like. But then, um, do they give you like an audition to see if you can even keep a beat or no? Well, no. it's at beginning because we had people in there that were bad. 
Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then when you start, everybody. I never the did same band, level. so I don't know. What uh, what electives did you choose? I did chorus in sixth grade, and then I did I did home economics, and I did woodshop for two years. Oh, the first two made sense. The third one threw me off. <laughs> 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 yeah, make our own dildos. Mm, I uh, out of wood. Yeah, make a wood dildo. A lot of splinters. Yeah. I know they <laughs> had sand them down. Like, and that was in middle school. Yeah, the, in my which my, is insane that they let us use those type of saws and stuff. We had and that. Like, we there didn't were, have that. There were times where like kids would chase yeah. each other around with sharp objects, and I'm just like, eh, we had a kid cut his finger. Yeah. And so, you know, you'd have my stuff woodshop like that teacher didn't have a pinky. <laughs> That's a good sign, yeah. though. I feel like he knows his way. <laughs> he learned his yeah. lesson. I'm like, like this the, guy knows. Like that guy the goat. Knows. Yeah, he knows. It didn't seem like we had any of that wood shop or like uh Maybe auto- just because you room. didn't pay attention. But yeah, it was probably that. Yeah, yeah. Because like we had wood it shop. It like Miami in Miami is a big, you know, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of kids. Down there. I did yeah. ceramics, but, photography. I yeah. did a bunch of different Oh, dude, stuff. ceramics was dope. I yeah. very much enjoyed. A lot of bongs. Uh, <laughs> a lot of ashtrays. You know, come to think of it, I guess those were bongs. Yeah. I didn't really put two and two together. You got one more. Uh, sure. Email for us. This is Ouch Couch Airbnb Sessions. Good morning, friends. A few of us in the Twitch chat, sorry, angry BDMs, were so in love with Matt Woods the other day that we were throwing a few ideas back and forth. We'd love a recurring stripped down musical segment, NPR Tiny Desk style. Then I thought, what if we could have videos of the TND community too? Like an area in the Airbnb that allows people to record themselves giving a review or almost a video guest book, trying their hand at recording a micro segment for the show, or even showing off their own talents and singing or performing if brave enough. Granted, there will be some interesting attempts with all the watering holes nearby, but could create a new Best B&B Blooper Award at the end of the year. Just a thought. <clears throat> That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that? That's a lot of. I like See, that. I like the ideas idea, are great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, listen, no. and then it's executing the ideas. You know, having part. a tiny area of like a, uh, a record your own studio in our Airbnb with like some sort of camera, and then it goes straight to us. Kind of like remember uh, America's wackiest people back in the Hold day. Hold on a second. Oh, America's oh, funniest oh, people oh, with oh, Dave Cooley. <laughs> yes. and they would put the box at any mall. Yeah, <laughs> and and the I, mall. Tra- I wanted my mom and dad to fuck you. I was yeah, like, yeah. mom and dad you gotta find this box in the mall and i gotta get in there it's my big break if i can get yeah, in yeah. front of this if i can get in front of dave coulier's mall box i'll be a star yeah it'd be interesting if people could broadcast or show their talent in our airbnb and it gets directly uploaded oh, to they'll the be showing their talent <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah all that about, lot, yeah an extreme amount of work <laughs> like to even attempt to do that uh, well, you can do I it mean, on your own. Plus, we're trying to rent it out, so weeks. Yeah, <laughs> we'll lose money. You <laughs> we're trying to even just get it up and Break going. Even. Uh, yeah. Like I'm, my wife's over there. I'll uh, get in the last uh, curtains up. Oh, trying God. to get. Oh man, like, you got her doing that. Uh, Bart America's taking pictures right now. Oh, then a mad rush. we, we got to upload them in enough time yeah. tomorrow it's to like try to get out. We're not going to spaces. We got to finish <laughs> before Ty Pennington <laughs> says it's over. or We don't qualify. I don't think by the time we get the photos back, getting it up. I mean, it's going to be like we're at this for tonight. One hour. <laughs> I don't know if we're getting, so now get out. We got more people coming. Anyway, <laughs> uh, ideas are great. <laughs> I'll just say that, but it's uh, nearly impossible to execute. But not a bad idea. And on the second part of that idea, as far as getting more musical guests to come in here, or maybe do a tiny desk uh, styled. Uh, you know, content yeah. for the show. We're yeah. gonna do that. We'll do that for sure. And we can get musical guests to come and perform, and then record and put it like that's that. You, that we can do that. Amazing. Like we've got the we've been training for that for yeah. twelve years. Like we got yeah. it down. Yeah, but the Airbnb thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. As it continues, yeah. we'll figure things out. But that's not yeah. a bad idea. It's just hard. Yeah. To do. And it's like uh, we, we've never put together an Airbnb before, so we're learning as a, as we go. And yeah, there's lots of information online, but you 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 know when you start putting everything together, you're like, oh, the lock doesn't work like what we thought, or yeah. um, the the Nest AC keeps going back to eco mode, and Crystal can't figure out why it's right. like hot. Well, that's what ours does. And then I yeah. haven't been able to figure that out in six years. <laughs> and so all these little things that we're trying to like make perfect is you know. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, good uh, good suggestion. And look, all suggestions, all ideas are welcome. Absolutely. Um, we oh man, that's it. Yeah, we, we yeah, gotta yeah. get out of here. Is there anything to plug? 
Well, because um, this is Friday. I mean, <clears throat> next week is going to be BDM, BDM appreciation, appreciation. So yeah. So if you're not a BDM, sign up at TomandDan.com, and again, make sure your address is correct at TomandDan.com. Um, but we are going to be doing uh, way more BDM only events mm -hmm. uh, coming up, and uh, lots of other incentives to become a BDM. Um, so uh, you know, find out all the information on our website. Yeah, and if you have more comments, questions, uh, voicemails that you'd like to leave us, show at TomandDan.com or 1-844-T-O-M-N-D-A-N or get our free app and just hit the button that says Mediocre Messages and we will see you next week. Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I'm Dan. Samantha's here and it is BDM Appreciation Week. It so is. if you are a BDM, thank you very much for being a BDM. We appreciate it. Uh, you are the backbone of our show. You are. We were going to do like a thank you for being a BDM song to the tune of Thank You for Being a Friend by, is it Andrew Gold? Check my memory. Check my memory. I believe it is Andrew Gold. The Thank You for Being a Friend. Mm. Do, 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 do. Travel down that the is road correct. back again. But we did not do it. We did not do it. <laughs> we did not do it. <laughs> but we thought about we it. Thought about just it. as good. And it's the thought that counts. Yeah. Write it in yeah. your head. I'm, write sick that down. I'm sick of doing this. You could write the song in your head. It's not that hard. Canadian Josh is here. How hey. you doing, Josh? Hey. Oh. Canada. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow. We did it. That's all I get. Yeah, that's all you get. He's here, everybody. It's Canadian Josh. Hey guys, the Canadian Josh segment brought to you by TD Bank. Yeah. Well, all am right. I the only one who actually has a TD Bank card? You are. Yes. I have a truest, and uh, I don't know. I can't find any of my funds. I don't know where my money's at. <laughs> I'm a chase gal. After we uh, flip the truest, I have. I'm uh, no recourse. I'm locked out of everything. Um, <laughs> locked out of heaven, Bruno Mars. So. I just spent the entire lunch break uh, deleting emails. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's what most Americans do, I feel like. You <laughs> did the standard. You gave it the yeah, Kid yeah. Rock, the full-on real American. You sat down in your lunch break and said, it's time to tackle these 35,000 emails I've built up. Now, for months, I've been getting notifications from my Google I want to say up to a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. happened. The, wow. the magnets, they gave you a lot of time. The magnet's pulling so hard yesterday i believe or the day before you were here sam was not here you were around the corner and i said oh you're and you're like it never gets locked out it's been at 116,000 percent for price. <laughs> he was like it's been at maximum velocity for yeah, about yeah. nine years now i'm like what and, and you're like it's still going it'll never get full. you just said <laughs> yeah. that on monday I did on monday that. he said to me sam my email box will never get full. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. That's what he well, said. And then two I said days it was later, a scam of Google. They just tell you that. So, so you, you buy more space. So you buy more space or you delete the emails or whatever, but they'll never stop Oh, Josh's emails. wife is yelling at him. I could tell his eyes. He's yeah. like, are you, are you playing radio again? <laughs> I see no, you playing no. And he's like, get out, get yeah. out of the screen. Get out of the screen. You're ruining it. You're <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought that they'll never like they just send you that that stuff, but they'll never actually stop your email. Yeah. Kind of like Apple um, does it to us all the time. They're like, your Apple account, you need more space. I'm like, no, I don't. You're trying to trick me. I got three terabytes. Haven't even touched. Yeah, yeah. It's like parents. Dropbox does it. They threaten they'll turn the car around. Or it's all threat. Yeah. So like everything's a threat. Yeah, uh, we could use the term saber rattling. That's real popular yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> saber rattling. And I'm like, it's just a threat. They'll you know because they'll never like have like the bad customer service or like people like I was expecting an important email and you shut it off and uh, you like my uh, kid died because of you know oh whatever God. it is. I don't know. Is I'll, that what you think about? You know, I'll, if I don't get this email, my <laughs> kid will die. I'm just saying, like, you know, someone didn't, doesn't get a super important email that they need. They, Google doesn't want that on their... Never got the email from Chuck, the guy that's making our... Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, custom gift cards. Chuck. So, this morning... Sam's like, oh, did you get that email from our, our friends at Hourglass? You got Hourglass. that email from what's his name? <laughs> you're like, what? And Sam goes, these nuts. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like awesome. did they CC me? I'm like, I don't see it here. And she's but like, they yeah. They didn't send it to me. I'm like, you're on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I tell Daniel that. And then you're Daniel lying. looks. And then, well, he uh, just doesn't drive me crazy because I'm like, these guys are doing business behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> what don't I know? So I'm like, oh, what the hell's happening? And then I'm like, I, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's happening? <laughs> You know, uh, I you should I've, be asking that. I think I've heard our current president say that a couple times. So, <laughs> he looks really old, that guy. True. Old. I was also expecting. I was 
expecting like three uh, email replies from something I sent yesterday, oh, and I was man. like, it's not like this. And there's some business stuff, and like a bunch of uh, beating appreciation yeah. stuff. God damn it! A it's lot. Not, it's not <laughs> like me to get my uh, uh, picks of the day from Sublime Thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like, I haven't even received one email today. That's weird. It's like I haven't got one contestant day. for the total it's dating a slow day. day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, old Tom Vance usually burning hot on a Wednesday. And then I'm like, oh my god, it happened. They, they shut they me down. They did it. They shut you down. They shut it down. They heard, the algorithm heard us talking about it. They're like, he's on to his. Heard you it. talking ass. Pull it. And then I went down to the actual storage limit. Never go down to the storage <laughs> limit. And it said 113%. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? That's not even mathematically possible. <laughs> I'm like, 100. And I'm like, well, I guess they're trying to tell you you're 13% stuff. <laughs> So you made, it's like stuffing your entire yeah. ass into your jeans and then putting 13% more ass into your jeans. So they did, they decided like 113% that's, <laughs> that's, that's it. the breaking point. Well, if you get here, I'll no, screw you. I think 115, it just, it shuts the world down. Yeah. But you got the 113, the You reached the edge of the mailbox. Yeah, yeah man. I, and then, and so then... I was going to be like, screw this. I'm not I'm deleting. I'm going to 114. I'm going to start a new email address. Because I. <laughs> Tom, Tom 69 <laughs> at tomanddan.com. <laughs> Mr. Tom I at tomanddan.com. Because I've had, I've never deleted an email from Team. the time I we started the company. <laughs> like, I, That's and absurd. True. And it, I, I, wanna, that was a badge story? of honor to me. It, you know, but badge it, of honor. Wait a second. Before you start executing him, Sam. It's the greatest me, honor. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you where it does come in handy you know two or three years ago we're buying a new tent we like our tent we have a great tent but i couldn't figure out which one of these stupid ghost companies that's rebranded <laughs> itself that makes it out of china yeah. made the tent tom's like i got it <laughs> he goes back in there three to four hours later he comes out of the t- he takes a long time long time yeah. he comes back out he's like 2013 found it. <laughs> yeah. he's like totally promotional it's right here i got the guy and you worked with sammy sammy yeah. and they're like sure enough i call the place he's like this is sammy speaking yeah. it's like it comes in handy that he saves every Everything. It also comes in handy when people lie to us, and, and, and I'm like, they didn't say that. And Tom's like, oh, well, go try it. <laughs> 2012, yes, he did say it. <laughs> he finds all the stuff. So It's important. Anyway, I was going to not delete anything because there was an option to buy more storage. Do it. So then I was like, I'm mm. just buying more. But then I went on there. Throw money at it. And for one more gigabyte, which, by the way, I'm 30 gigabytes full. One more is a drop of the ocean. Yeah, exactly. That's right. One more is we like 30 more. 10 emails. <laughs> it is like $5 a month or whatever. And then I was just like, well, one more is not going to give me nothing. Well, yeah. I don't think we know what we're doing. Like each one of our video files, like we video, this is a video right now. Yeah. Right, like this is audio, it's radio, it's podcast, yeah. it's video. Each one of our video files is thirty to forty gigabytes. Like I have, <laughs> I have, I'm, a, I'm drowning in hard drives in here. Like every day, I export a hundred gigs of content. Too much content. I feel we're polluting the internet. We are. We really are. <laughs> <laughs> so the internet. The internet is palore. <laughs> the internet is palore. Anyway, so then palore. I had to go back to the beginning and then just page by page delete, oh. click, delete, click, delete. I had to teach him how to figure out how to get his <laughs> you had large to file. And I, you had to teach him how to use the minutes. delete key. Or did, was he doing some? A hundred uh, at a time. Was he scrolling all the way down and hold shift and iron pour? <laughs> Dude, I did it for 15 minutes straight, and I'm like, all right, I deleted 8,000 emails, and, I, and then it was 108%. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Well, you got to go for the fatter ones with, like, the videos. That's what I got them to, yeah. You got to get all those porno pictures, <laughs> pictures of people's wives. Well, how there. am I going to share them? This, this MFR's got the old Paris Hilton night video. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> like God, a night in Paris? He, oh, yeah, he's got one night in Paris on there, one night in China. He's got all the classic early 2000 <laughs> pornos. All the one nights. Anyway, what's going on in Canada? You guys got porno over there? <laughs> we got lots of porno, oh and I was going to start off with not talking about porno, <laughs> talking about uh, uh, sponsorship potential. Tom, remember we were talking about potentially getting Flair Airlines? Everybody oh. wants to get paid. First All off, right. First <laughs> off, I want to say thanks to uh, Tracy Claus for she got me. I don't know how she worked some sort of magic, and she got me in contact with the uh, director of communications and marketing for well, Flair. Well, she knows so, anyway, everybody in person. Sanford. So. Yeah, don't let her beauty fool you. She <laughs> is as crooked she, as they come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she She's in everybody's pockets. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she, really she pulled is. some strings there. Yeah. I was very impressed. She's but like anyway, the character uh, in Game Airlines of Thrones. No longer. She's like the character in Game of Thrones, the eunuch that has his penis cut <laughs> no, off. Yeah, but he's working guy, deals yeah. with everybody yeah, because yeah. you know I'd work deals with everybody too if you chopped off my penis. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the update on Flair Airlines, um, this bit is no longer sponsored by Flair Airlines because Flair Airlines probably going out of business soon because they're about to lose their operating license in Canada. Oh, uh, what'd they do? So um, following a formal announcement uh, from an investigation last night by the Canadian uh, Transportation Agency, they have determined a uh, preliminary ruling that the carrier, quote, may not be controlled, in fact, by Canadians and therefore not Canadian as defined in the Canada Transportation Act. Oh, so, God, they're Russian, and Tom, you'll they? like this. It turns out they're uh, primarily owned and most of their board members are from a Miami-based company called oh. 777 Partners. So they it's were a trying scam. to scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> My scam. <laughs> is this joe is this our buddy joe <laughs> hold on so they like this is just now happening like how'd they even get in there they lied yeah exactly they probably hid some stuff so in order to get an operating license in canada to, to run an airline your company has to be 51 percent owned uh by canadian interests i mean obviously otherwise delta southwest spirit right. they'd all be up here getting a piece of the action too so you have to be a canadian owned company Flair kind of uh, hid the fact that the majority of the people who sit on their board and the majority of the money came from a uh, Miami-based company. It's a Miami-based investment firm, and this company in Miami also leases all the aircraft for them. So Flair Airlines is essentially a Miami Could, company. Couldn't they tell in the Zoom meetings, like, these guys are tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not from Canada. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so is everything good to go? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's fine. We gotta go. They're speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so There's chickens running around in the background. <laughs> Um, so no more flare air. Uh, yeah. Well, well they're, they're somebody... still operating from now. I mean, they're, they're they're doing a ruling, but the preliminary all the preliminary investigation shows that uh, yeah, they're uh, they're looking like they're a Miami based. Just move it around a little bit. You got to sell it to somebody Canadian, and then you know get just tighten up your books a little bit, and then we'll be back. They'll let's hope they'll just push off the lawsuit for years. <laughs> like that's what giant like companies do, which is ridiculous. I didn't so know like, you could do that. Like when if, <laughs> when you're old and powerful and white enough, you can get subpoenaed to be in court, and you can just be like, no, yeah, yeah. You that's can, a thing. You, you could push off. The lawyer will be like, no, eh, yeah, this, I'm not going. You worry about this in six years. <laughs> like oh, I'll continue to petition <laughs> yeah. and write this thing. It's yeah. sick. I'll push it back six I'll and a half years. By the like, come get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is like, is that fair? I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's not fair. Um, what else we got? Oh my god! Is somebody right, killing your dog? About, sorry <laughs> for all what's the happening? Dogs barking. Little cheese just got home from school, and I got a pug oh in my god. Oh. Nuts in the background. Little there. cheese. But anyway, did you just curse? I couldn't hear you. Um, no, I said a pug. Oh, okay. 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 So just got home. I thought you said an effing lab. I was like, getting loose over there, Josh. What time you get out of school in Canada? <laughs> what's it uh, he left early because it's the last day before. Yeah, they pick their own schedule in Canada. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was going to talk about uh, hockey and soccer. Uh, hockey, we're coming into playoffs. That's looking good. And the reason I'm going to talk about soccer is because the Canadian men's soccer team good. has qualified for the World Cup for yeah. the first time since 1985. Yeah, so and you can thank exciting. one guy who has ties to Orlando. You can thank the best Canadian soccer player that they have, Mr. Kyle Laren. Wow. Kyle Laren. He's on the national team. Oh, yeah. Right? He is these that he's one of their studs. And I think two games ago, I was watching you guys, and he scored the only goal, and they needed that game. So it was like do or die. You guys are actually pretty damn decent. In fact, I like the idea of the, the Canadians were talking smack about us. They were t like, you guys were coming sideways at us, and I right. liked it because you were like, because we were running our mouths a little bit. And then Canada was like, well, pff, you guys don't do anything special in men's soccer. The U.S., get out of here. So I like yeah, that. exactly. I and like we that. The game to um, the game that got us in was against Jamaica, and it was a couple of weeks ago in Toronto. And so the Jamaicans came up to a balmy. If I'm doing the math real quick, to a balmy like 22 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. When yeah, that's, not so, yeah. that's not fair. That's not fair. I don't. You froze the them out. It's not. It really <laughs> isn't. I mean, it's all part of the game, but it's not fair to have a tropical team come and play in in crazy yeah. conditions. That's the only reason you won. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 you're could scammed say that. You could say that. You flared them. <laughs> you flared them. <laughs> we, we got them good. So, That's who, funny. now who is like traditionally the worst team to make the World Cup? I don't know. We've been pretty bad. I think we'll be close too. Like I I don't I don't know. You guys probably know more than I'm. Like you guys, I don't pay much attention to soccer until the World Cup, and obviously I'll be uh, paying a lot of attention to it too. And ironically, Tom, on the gambling front, that is the most money I think. Like you mentioned, that I've ever won gambling. I did it. 
it was the year, I think it was 2014, 2016, the year that I think the Netherlands won. I did yeah. a crazy parlay bet uh, just taking some advice from somebody, and I won like $800. But I don't think our prospects are looking too good as far as how we're going to do in the tournament itself. But we'll see. Because we, <clears throat> the United States, are ranked higher than Canada, right? You know, I like don't we know We got better players. Uh, I, well, see, on paper we do. But I think traditionally we haven't performed as well as maybe Canada has. Because in the World Cup, well, hold on, they haven't qualified since '85. Well, we, we didn't. 85, yeah. We didn't qualify. I'm just saying comparatively, yeah. they're saying they're looking at us and saying, "Well, you guys didn't qualify, so you're on the same. You're same as us." Well, hold on, we qual- We've qualified multiple times. Yeah. Uh, what are the know. rankings now, Sam? Pull them. Pull them up the the rankings right now. We didn't, I'd be interested to see what we rank. We didn't qualify last year, no. um, or but four I, years ago. Uh, four years ago, yeah, yeah. But I feel like there was a run where we did it every year for uh, at least But before like that, there was a 16. run where we uh, no, were not yeah, existing. Yeah. talking about men's? Yeah, men's soccer. Mm. Number one, Brazil. Yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Belgium. Then France. Then Argentina. Then England. Italy, Spain, Portugal, Mexico, Netherlands, Denmark, Germany. We're we're number 15, guys. Where's oh, Canada? Wow. Uh, let's see. Canada. 30s? Where are, They're, are they in the 30s? Who's below us? Canada's oh. 38. Yeah, I, th- I I feel pretty confident you guys are always in the 30s. That just seems Ukraine's right. 27. Ukraine's better than you guys, Ukraine, and they're going through a war. Ukraine is going to be playing. They're one of the, the first uh, games. I, I just saw that come up in my news feed. They're one of the first games that comes up. Who's worse than Canada? Um, oh, there's a, a lot, lot of teams. So the last place is, uh, well, on number 50 is Paraguay. But there's oh, wow. five pages of this, so let's see. <laughs> I think that's just because of size and money, right? Like I feel probably. like I feel like if you grew up in Paraguay, you probably have a better natural understanding of soccer and appreciate it more. But because of your you're a smaller country population, population yeah, yeah. and money, you're just not going to get like as ju- many players that are awesome. Well, just based on population, the chances of one of your citizens being genetically gifted b- with uh, to be an yeah. athlete, like we should crush this. Know. But NFL football, NBA basketball, you know, we, like, all our best in athletes last are place. Now. Number two eleven is San Marino. I what a great spot to be in, though, right? No <laughs> expectations. It's, that's a great spot to be in. Have Don't fun. know where that is. Country in Europe. All right. Uh, All right. And also, we were, um, the last time we went to the World Cup, real quick, um, we in 86, we lost all three games yes. and did not score one goal in the last World Cup. I think mm. you'll do better this year. <laughs> Number 38, 39, um, you know, I'm going Team Canada. Hopefully, we'll score a goal. I think you will. You got some guys. You, you, you guys have some players. Well, who else is? Uh, There's one other in, guy I'm blanking on his name. Anybody else in the EPL? Uh, Laren is, right? Or not in the EPL, but Laren's he, in uh, I thought Europe. He, he, yeah, he plays in Turkey, uh, I think. Anyway. I could be wrong on that. Um, but What's yeah, next, How's Josh? your weight loss um, before, challenge going? Sir, yeah, it's going good, man. Um, before I get into the next topic, did you, you guys say you had an email for me? Oh, he, he moved past that yeah. fast. That means yeah. it's not going good. <laughs> and he, and he, just, he, barreled, he barreled right over my end zone. I'm like, you yeah, look yeah. horribly oh, no. obese. You're losing the bet, huh, Josh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, 30, 30 pounds down in a healthy weight challenge. 30 down, 30 to go, four more months. So nice. We'll oh, my God. Yeah, most of that's water weight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always uh, oh, yeah, yeah, not giving credit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, All right, what, what else? else you got? Okay, um, did you guys have an email for me? Or? I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a listener's like, this is for Canadian Josh. I oh, heard boy. they eat peacocks up there. Has he eaten one, and did he kill it? <laughs> I have. Did he say peacocks? Peacock, yeah. I've never heard of that before. So no and no right. to that listener. <laughs> Are you thinking of Mexico? <laughs> because yeah. Mexican Josh? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Maybe Mexican. you got uh, North and South uh, mixed up because I feel like, uh, you know, peacock eating is not a Canadian thing, right? <laughs> no. Too cold for peacocks, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're I not like wandering around like down in Miami, a bunch of peacocks because uh, yeah. weather and uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, environment. A, official <laughs> animal of flare hair. <laughs> what do you uh, what do you guys have wandering around? Like if Miami has a wandering peacock, what is Canada known to just have wandering moose? Uh, all the seagulls, all the ducks, crows. I guess they're they're worldwide. And uh, wild turkeys are actually making their way into this neck of the woods now too. Wild. Turkeys. There is an article uh, that says feral peacocks are terrorizing a Canadian neighborhood. Hood. So Ooh. you guys got some peacocks up there somewhere. Yeah, peacocks will chase some white people, man. They'll I'll shoot them. I'll shoot them good. Peck them good. Them, yeah, Peck them in their flat them frog too, asses. <laughs> Canadians got a flat frog ass, and peacocks look at that, they get mad. <laughs> and uh, peacocks are like loud, disgusting birds yeah. too. Yeah, they're um, angry. Um, they, you know what's weird about birds is that they are they take up a lot of space, but they're light. 
and that bothers me. I don't like <laughs> things that take up a lot of space, but it's light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you uh, picked up a peacock, it, you'd be you, like, "Oh my god, yeah. this is full of air." Yeah, it's like when I <laughs> it's like when I pick up a plastic pint glass at like a sports bar. I'm like, "Whoa!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like throwing yeah, yeah, my yeah, beer yeah, yeah, across yeah. the room. Um, what else we got, Josh? Have you guys heard the legend that basketball was invented in Canada as a I basketball have. city? Were you guys aware of that? I, I have heard that, yeah. I You know, so that's what I thought I'd get into. I don't know what made me put it down as a topic, but it says it was, uh, so it says it's Canadian invention, and then there's like all kinds of uh, Canadian films kind of taking ownership of basketball. But as, as I dug a little bit deeper, I don't know, you guys can tell me what you think. This might be a Flair Airlines not actually being Canadian situation. So invented in 1891 by James Naismith at the YMCA International Training School in Springfield, Massachusetts. So he was actually in Massachusetts at the time when he invented basketball. So... Canadian invention, I guess, because it was invented by a Canadian. Well, um, this is a great question. D was he was he born in Canada? Yeah, so he was born in Ontario, but he was uh, he was a physician and he was also a physical education instructor. So at the Springfield YMCA, um, they pr basically gave him the mandate that during the cold winter months in New England, uh, they wanted uh, the sports directors like for soccer and football, they wanted something for the players to stay in shape and stay healthy, but they didn't want it to be too rough. And that's where he came up with the invention of basketball. And it was actually uh, Peach Baskets, hence the name Basketball. And actually, real funny, for the longest time I saw in one YouTube video I was watching on it, they didn't have a hole in the bottom yeah. so there'd be one guy designated to stand on a ladder to take it out and then eventually somebody had the epiphany you know what let's take the hole out of the bottom so we don't have to climb no, up I like the it. hole it gives you <laughs> time to catch your breath you know I yeah, like that so it's dude, like okay the ladder. get up there and get the ball out and you go up there <laughs> again this is kind of like the penny farthing to me like why not just make both the wheels the same size uh, why make a bunch of giant wheel tiny wheel for a long time like how come you didn't realize like the basket like one, I can understand. Like, all right, let's put a like a basket up here and try to throw a ball in it, right? Well, you don't put but, you don't cut a hole in it; it'll go right through the bottom. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it, you can tell if it goes through, and then it, like once you do, you throw it up there once and it gets stuck. You're like, you cut a hole in the bottom. <laughs> like, why did it take so That's long? Too fast. Even if it took more than a day, it too long. It used to be a slower paced game. Also, I don't give credit to people who invent things that are now totally different. And like almost indistinguishable from the invention, right? But similar to right. like the Wright brothers and all this stuff is like the Wright brothers invented airplanes. Look at the jets we have! Like they didn't invent that. They, yeah. What they had is BS. <laughs> they had like a paper airplane they could sit on. <laughs> they, they were laying on their stomach. <laughs> like the, like that is not nowhere close to the jets we have. You ever think about I don't how give scary them nothing. that would be laying on just a couple of bed sheets <laughs> yeah. and, a, and an old tree and your brother and you jump off a mountain? Oh my god! So the Canadian guy that put a peach basket up on a stick and Naismith. Then, yeah like i don't that's nowhere close to basketball today so i don't even count it yeah okay. exactly. <laughs> and in contrast to uh basketball today i was saying that the original rules didn't include uh didn't include what is known today as the dribble so there's no dribbling so the ball could only be moved up the court by passing in between players that's like ultimate um, frisbee right like ultimate yeah, yeah, frisbee yeah. is you could just throw it and you can like hold it and you gotta like move around you ever seen the dudes that aren't dribbling playing basketball when they're just kind of moving around and then like over the head throw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so dorky. God, it's terrifying. Tiny Dukes. Yeah, little bitty Dukes. Um, Can we talk about a uh, Canadian treasure I'd like to bring up? I don't know why I went down this rabbit a hole. A Canadian what treasure? Mike Myers is a Canadian treasure. <laughs> Close, close. Dan Aykroyd. He seems to kind of have fallen off. I know through my formative years, I loved Grumpy. some Dan Aykroyd, especially in uh, Spies Like Us. I think that was the first boobs I ever saw in a movie. Remember when they thought the nuclear war was going to happen, so they were all getting at it? I do remember that. Yeah. I, you know, my, We had a run-in with Dan Aykroyd. He threw... Uh, Ross's <laughs> like, no, Tom and Dan card right in the trash. That was Ross's run with Dan Aykroyd because Ross does things that are awkward, and then of course he's gonna throw. No, no, uh, Ross is not awkward. Why do you give How Dan Aykroyd or, or Dan Aykroyd <laughs> your business card? In case he like, wanted to stop by the studio. <laughs> well, he's never gonna. If you don't ask, you don't. You, you should never. Ne he'll never come by. <laughs> you <laughs> don't make any of the shots that you don't throw at the peach basket. <laughs> You know what? When I was thinking, I thought I was wondering if I dreamt that. I thought, did you guys have him in studio, or I thought there was a Tom and Dan uh, no, he interaction was, with Dan? He Aykroyd. was doing one of those signings of his Crystal <laughs> Skull vodka, which, yeah. by the way, I'm sure it's just like any other vodka. It's just in it's a vodka. skull, and that's why we look at it. Oh, get the skull vodka because Tom and I paid. 
when we thought we were getting sued by Clear Channel, we paid an attorney with a bottle of Skull <laughs> Vodka because we were like, you got to keep us out of jail, man, in case Clear Channel comes and get us. And that's the fanciest yeah. one that we thought. That we, we were really like, that one looks fancy. Where are we eating it? I'm like, I don't know. What other directions to Dexter's? We're driving to Dexter's. We show up at Dexter's. Like, Here's a Skull. Yeah. They're, like, <laughs> we'll they're like, sir, you must put on a shirt. You can't wear a tank top. I'm like, I'm sorry. We walk in. We sit down. We <laughs> hand the Skull Vodka to the attorney. We're like, can you make sure we stay out of the popo? <laughs> And he is, I think Dan, the, the, uh, after doing some, uh, after going down a YouTube rabbit hole on Dan Aykroyd, I think the Crystal Skull thing came in because he's kind of got away from acting, obviously, and comedy, and he's big into like um, alien abductions. Yeah. Yep. And and Crystal Skull. So apparently, there's a really good uh, interview with him on Joe Rogan, and he's talking about alien abductions and Crystal Skulls. And there's these Crystal Skulls all over the world, separated by you know hundreds of years, and you know they're one of the mysteries of, of the world. So he 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 operates in that world now of the of the supernatural alien type things. I think that's probably was his uh, inspiration for Crystal Skull vodka. I would assume. The uh, I know that like every once in a while you see and it's hard to distinguish what's a internet hoax now and like made up and fabricated to mm-hmm. what's like actually real and it's too much work to go and research uh, <laughs> whether it is or not so yeah. Yeah, I just see it and I make up my I'm own. Like, uh, God, I'll have to go to like five <laughs> different websites to solve this. And I'm like, uh, eh, real, not real. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I see these things like, look at the skull. Uh, look how this like this is, couldn't be human. Look at it. It's elongated. Yeah. Banana skull. <laughs> yeah, banana skull. And, uh, w- like, there's no explanation for this. And they found this in the mountains of Peru. Yeah, and, Peruvian yeah. banana skull. And then I always are like, that's a hoax or that's, you know, some sort of uh, ancient native Peruvian uh, Indian that uh, practiced those yeah. things. You know, like, he died with his hat Peruvian on. Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's per- there's Peruvian Indian. Indians. They're not Indians. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I call Indians, you know. Yeah, you know. yeah I know. <laughs> the teepee. Indians, Aldians, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this before, Tom. You guys are fast. We're and more loose with Indian the I word. than we're not Indian. What do you call them? Peruvian we're natives. All Peruvian natives. natives. We're all Indian this together. Yeah, yeah, but how do I tell you that they're Indian without? They're, oh, like a Peruvian native could yeah. be a guy right there with uh, an Indian is someone from <laughs> India. Thank no, you, I know. Yeah, yeah, he knows Tom, that. in Canada, Indian, the An word, indigenous that word is one from step down Peru. from the N-word as far as Native Americans. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know, do with that information it's, what you want. It's three steps down. <laughs> well, wait, that, what's the other term? That, is it Inuit? In, indigenous. indigenous. Indigenous, Aboriginal, Native. All right. Native is, yeah. God, yeah. you really, anyway, really stepped in it this time. I'm like, they wrapped their heads with scarves and it elongated yeah, their heads. It's a petrified <laughs> scarf hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what is that? What are the uh, skulls that people like claim? Nobody they knows. That's that's the thing. Like, they look at them by like professionals. They can't. I know, I know, Tom. I see you're going to dismiss it, but no. someone uh, knows. It's pretty, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, with carbon dating and the science, they look at it like how back in this time could they have made that? stuff i don't know man i'm not going to get into a big conspiracy thing on it yeah what do i look like dan (laughs) Aykroyd? yeah because then i i see tiktok clips of joe rogan interviewing some uh ancient uh egyptian uh guy (laughs) he interviewed an ancient egyptian guy he he interviewed the ghost of tutankhamen (laughs) yeah make that mummy sound dan do you still have that mummy sound on your soundboard (laughs) ah So, and and he's talking about how it's it would be impossible for any human to actually, uh, like, build these pyramids because of how big and how uh, precise they are. Hold my scarf, hat. <laughs> and then, and then I'm and then I'm like this guy's and then Joe Rogan's like, oh, oh red. <laughs> and then and then I don't know about what I think about that. But I hear like other historians and like and people talk about like, oh yeah, there's an easy explanation. This is how they do it. So which is it? Like, is it the guy on Joe Rogan or is it, you know, some other historian be like, oh, well, this is how they did it. I, you know, I would it's imagine possible. that his crystal skull is just a skull that then the the biological bone, you know, particles, whatever, replaced by other particles that a lot of pressure have been put on and make some sort of like a, a an, uh, like a mold, right, of crystals. And that's. Right? Something like that, where it forms a skull and takes the place of what the bone would be well, under pressure of some sort, and it forms it. 
Is there an actual crystal skull? That's what he's saying. That's an Indiana Jones. Yeah, all over the world. On different continents, separated by hundreds of years. I don't think aliens are making them and just leaving them as trolling us. Like, I hope they find them. Ha <laughs> ha, left another skull. <laughs> I, I think it's like the pressure of like magma or rock or whatever, and then there's a real human skull under there, and then the, the lava comes in and it replaces the bone, and then a lot of pressure, boom, and then it pushes the rock together. It turns into glass a, or something. Yeah, it yeah. forms a crystal skull of some sort. That's my theory. Or something like, like that. Ancient, there's been plenty of civilizations that had like technology, and like the civilization ceased to exist and then but they had a certain amount of technology that uh later civilizations o- only it had. was destroyed yeah, yeah yeah but like so like they had and there, there's theories that some like ancient civilizations had discovered like even gunpowder or other stuff like had pr- like plumbing in their like uh in their area or like the, their civilization or whatever we have plumbing in our the, area <laughs> that predated what we thought you know what i'm saying yeah like, I'm with you just because like aqueducts and stuff yeah yeah it was like way ahead of its time yeah exactly yeah. and and so i feel like there were pockets of humanity that had technology that we didn't know about and then that's why it's confusing us right it's like they made crystal skulls and we didn't think that this age of human whatever had the capability of doing that but they did yeah. but they didn't write anything they, there's no history yeah they should and have a piece of paper <laughs> next to it that says my crystal skulls facts isn't, faq page isn't there some sort of like uh like fact about there are hundreds of thousands of years of humanity that's never been documented so we have no idea what yeah. they knew, what they that's what terrifying, their, what their civilization was, or whatever. It's like you know, besides from like very small remnants, we have no idea what they even knew. So, so Sam, um, what's the deal on the crystal skulls? Because I see you over there dropping links and digging <laughs> in. Yeah, so I'm reading this article, the real story behind the Aztec crystal skulls from DiscoverMagazine.com, and it's saying that. Um, in a, ma- a major museum collections around the world, you can find masterfully carved and haunting crystal skulls in all manner of styles. So they're and sizes. carved, all right. Uh, so they're just art But pieces. in the 1990s, an anthropologist named Jane Walsh at the Smithsonian National Museum of National History started to, to develop suspicions about these objects. Um, and basically, they're saying like that they're fake. That's that one oh guy God. like made them all. <laughs> Oh, like the guy the, that made all the fake coins that got back They're much too big. The proportions are off. The teeth in circular depressions at the temples did not look right. Overall, it's too round and polished. Ahead of his time. Crystal skull yeah. troll. He was trolling <laughs> us, right? Well, it's like that. Um, it's like those little monoliths that people are yeah, leaving. Yeah, all. Yeah, Is the that monoliths. what you're thinking so, about? Yeah. Yeah. We are on the they, same wavelength. They did some scientific analysis and realized that they were cut with modern rotary tools. Oh, and God. <laughs> in the 1980s, some yeah. guys used it as old DeWalt tools to carve crystal skulls. So at least these these batches were fake. I think we have to cancel your bit now, Josh. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's the correct answer. Now you have to stay. Now you have to stay. Um, anything else, Josh? Uh, yeah, just real quick. Dan Aykroyd's the most Canadian Canadian ever. He was born on Canada Day in the capital of Canada. Wow. And he is also a, here we go, a heterochromic syndactylite. Heterochromic syndactylite. That means he has webbed middle toes on both feet Ew. and he has different color eyes. That means he can oh, swim he? fast, right? <laughs> I had a friend growing up. I had a friend growing up who he had webbed hands. And at a certain age, he went and got his webbed hands, like, got them all cut. And then he had scars. Different the, color eyes, Dan? Apparently that no, correlates he with didn't in have, some cases. he didn't have different colored eyes, but he did have webbings on his hands and in his toes. And then uh, he went to the doctor and they cut them all. And then he ended up with scarring. Oh, it was pretty. It sounds really uh, terrifying. But uh, was it like, a little bit webbed, or was it no, like, like a duck foot? It was like a duck. Was it straight up, like yeah. right under the tip? Frog, uh, frog hands. Uh, wha- I feel like you at that point just leave, leave it. it, just so you. Uh, but I guess you, maybe you can't open your hand as much as a. Uh, uh, it, I think it would probably be. You know, it's gross. Troublesome. It, it is gross. gross. <laughs> yeah, it, but really. it's better if you need to carry. I mean, if you're <laughs> thirsty at a swimming. Sl- yeah, swimming. I don't know. I think it'd be harder for you to swim because you're not used to having... If you are a duck, it's a good thing. If you're a human, you're like, what do I do? You know? Well, I'm just saying, like, imagine... I, I wonder if they would count that 
if you okay, say you're an Olympic swimmer, you're like Michael Phelps. No, oh, it'd be like that trans web. argument. People yelling for him. Everybody, <laughs> man, he's got webbed hands. Chop him off. <laughs> Kill him. Burn him. They'd be, it'd be, it'd be, uh, everybody yelling. Everybody uh, mad. <laughs> they'd be. Uh, t- he'd be on the front of Time magazine. Are these webs are cheating? Are they cheating? And then other people would be like, I identify like I have webs. <laughs> I, I don't have, everybody's so mad. They're so that. effing Stuff mad. That, that doesn't even affect <laughs> no. them or even uh, like make a difference in their lives. Why I are still, you so mad? I still stand behind what I said, and I hope this doesn't hurt you and your wife's uh, feelings because I know your sons are now in competitive swimming, but I don't think that's a sport. So it doesn't matter to me whether <laughs> you're trans, whether you're a guy, a girl, doesn't matter. Boring sucks. NFL, that's it. <laughs> NFL Are they soccer. actually competing or are they just swimming in a pool? My sons? Yeah. Oh, they're doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so odd to me that you're paying for that when you have a pool. It, we're paying for some teen to Whoa. make them tough because we can't do it. <laughs> tough like, teens uh, making tough. By other... swimming in a pool. <laughs> yeah, 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 because they okay. get tired, and I, I start to get up and be like, he can't take it anymore. I can't breathe. And I want to <laughs> jump in there and save him. <laughs> but uh, she, the teen, doesn't care. And then Max struggling across the pool. They made him take off his nose guard. Because I'm like, take your get, nose guard off. I'm like, he, he grew up with a full <laughs> face mask. Like, it's not his fault. It's my fault. <laughs> take me. <laughs> And then they they uh, we got some great A pussies here with nose clips off. <laughs> <laughs> take your nose clips off. They made him take out his nose clip, and he can't. He can barely. Be, he doesn't know how to regulate the uh, the yeah, water. Yeah, because he's been using nose. a nose clip for uh, forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll so, know it in a matter of days. So uh, the answer to your question is, I paid a teen to make him take his nose clip off. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> How's he doing with the mask thing? Is he off the mask or still? No, no. Uh, he wears a full, uh, he wears an iron lung. <laughs> 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 Big helmet. He was mad about it. He said, I quit. I'm like, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All the ice cream you can eat. <laughs> All right, Josh. Anything uh, else to plug? No, that's it. Love you guys. I'll talk to you next month. Hopefully sooner than later. I'll see you in studio. All right. Hey, that'll be fun, man. Looking yeah. forward to it. And as always, beavers to you, my friend. <laughs> beavers. All right, buddy. We love you, man. Be good. That is Canadian Josh live from the Great White North. Yeah. Um. So back to the uh, nose clip. So yeah. <laughs> we. I didn't. I've never seen your sons use a nose clip ever. Tommy that's doesn't. A, that's a new thing to me. Well, because. Tommy preferred uh, the regular, like, uh, non-cover-your-nose goggles, the swimmer's goggles, okay, right? Okay, yeah. Like, so he'd always preferred that, like, uh, growing up, you know, he growing Everybody's up. Everybody's different. You know, when he was when learning how to swim, whatever, and Max had always worn the regular full-face scuba diving you know what? goggles, Now whatever. that you think about it, that is correct. I, now I know exactly what you're talking and, about. Because May likes, May likes the little ones, too, like yeah. the swim, swim goggles. So I didn't think anything of it. Who cares, you know, saying? But now he has a hard time, uh, like, you know, keeping the water out of his nose. So he holds his nose and stuff like that right, when right. he doesn't have his goggles on. And when he dunks his head underwater, water, water goes up his nose and he, whatever. So anyway, his first day of swim, uh, swim school or whatever, we had him, we bought him a nose clip because they don't allow like the full scuba diving mask or whatever. Right. But then the lady in the second day, the, her, the coach uh, was like, coach, you know, uh, what's her name? Coach, I don't know. He doesn't know nothing. Coach Tina. Names. <laughs> um, I, I just sit there. Just looking at me. Do you wear uh, tiny shorts when you sit there? I'd like to argue. Oh, that that's maybe, all I have. Uh, can you please wear some appropriate shorts when you're sitting? Coach Tina does not want to see that. And so. Put your jeans on. Yeah. Put Co- some jeans on like any good Florida dad. Coach uh, Tina is like, hey, take the nose clip off you, because the next level after you graduate from this, they don't allow them. So you might as well get used to it now. Right. right. Uh, like toughen you up. Or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, when you go from minnow to guppy you yeah, yeah. got yeah i get it so he, he can't like anytime he puts his head in the water he blows all his air out so he's like <laughs> Yeah, and then, like, so he's <laughs> struggling right now. I'm watching him. I'm, I'm like yeah, mad. That's what the no, teacher's for. She's yeah, supposed yeah, to teach yeah, him how to do up. it correctly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah then, but Coach Tina's on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's I mean, been at me for 700 bucks. And then I'm like, he, he can't do it. <laughs> Give him a break. Help. I'm like, help. you're a helicopter. You start, do you start yelling, I'm, help. Are you for him? I'm like, Give him his nose clip back. <laughs> Just let him use it for a little bit. <laughs> like, he's struggling. And, uh, nose clip. Nose. You start chanting. Struggling uh, causes grit. This is good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, but you're struggling too. This is giving you grit. So then, after I know the whole time. And what is I'm Crystal's like, take on this, by the way? 
Well, Crystal's like, oh, you know, like the teacher knows this is better right. for him, whatever, you know. So she gets on her phone, which is what moms <laughs> and dads are supposed to do. You're supposed to be on your phone. She's like, the teacher knows. And I'm like, does she know? Does she? <laughs> because <laughs> maybe she just said that because she, uh, you know, I, like, it, does she maybe know? Maybe she's trolling like there's crystal skulls. <laughs> like how much? And I see, and you say coach, like what? Like she's, I think she's in high school. Like she's a, uh, war, well, like. She can, yeah, she's probably on the, like a captain of the yeah, swim team. She's probably on the swim team. And this is part of what she does to help out. Oh, I did find out something because Uh-oh. I started uh, I started looking around like this is a nice. Wait a minute, a- I'm at a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where are my pants? It's an Olympic, a big ass Olympic sized swimming pool uh, with like uh, the whole thing lights. The you know like uh, I mean it's oh, wait. it's a you look like damn Greg Luganis. <laughs> bad. You, you, know, you guys know Greg Luganis or maybe that guy with the shark teeth. And, and I'm just like you know we didn't have a, a, a GD pool in our high school or whatever. I, like you know there was nothing. No, we didn't have a swim team. We, Lord. Like, we, I remember my high school had to go to local community college to, like, do any sort of uh, pool stuff or whatever. We didn't, that wasn't a thing at my high you school. You know, that's women there's like, no Bel- swimming for you. No. Believe it or like, not. You, where you guys are going, to, you're not going <laughs> to need swimming. I yeah. honestly. We're going to have a boat, and you're too poor. <laughs> I couldn't tell you where Deland's. I, I think we had a pool, but I wasn't any in I, any of the swim teams, so I didn't. I, I don't think most high schools have one. I mean, it's super expensive. Rich ones do. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah right. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. And this is not, this is in Castleberry. Yeah, <laughs> this is not rich. So uh, then my wife started looking it up, and apparently someone who went to that school uh, eventually went to the NBA and then donated like $4 million dollars back to the high school anonymously. Wow. To build this whole facility, it's like a building and That's then weird. Olympic pool. I know. And why? Why NBA and donate money towards a pool, or did I, they just take the money and use it for what they wanted to? I guess that, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, why yeah. not update your basketball court? <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. Like, well, pool. I didn't send you money for that. They usually go. Right? With, they probably they probably went with need. So I'm gonna right. guess that the pool they thought they did the numbers and they're like. We can do this, and more people will benefit from this than just a basketball court. Maybe that's you can make too specific. Money. The pool is a little less specific. Because now, obviously, you like, can charge. They're making money yeah. through lessons and other stuff. Gotcha. Uh, you know, so they're using it as a revenue source. But and then I was like, four million dollars. Like I guess I was like this is a million dollar pool. Uh, like four million dollars is a lot. When anything is fancy gi- and big, I just say one million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, but here's what bothered me anonymously. I was like, don't you want the credit? <laughs> like, if I'm donating something back to my school, which I'd never well, do, never. You got to do that. I, I would want the credit, and I want the people to know. I want my name on the pool. Okay, follow me with I this. I want it to be Tom Van's pool. Okay, but hold on. Maybe <laughs> maybe not. Maybe you want, and I've been doing this a lot lately with GoFundMes and stuff. Maybe you want Anonymous Plus. Maybe you you want it to be anonymous. Uh, I put anonymous, but it has my email. Yes, yes, that's what I do. That's what I do. If I do your GoFundMe, they're yeah, like, do you want to keep this gift anonymous? I'm like, of course, because it's not about me getting credit. It's about saving this person's life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I go in there and I'm like, and they're like, show your email address, email address visible. And I'm like, absolutely. How else am I? <laughs> How am I supposed to get credit? <laughs> yeah, so now yes. it makes it look Dude, like we are I don't so want in, credit. We are in tune this week. See, oh, Daniel did it. You and I are in tune this week. Yeah, we yeah. are. We have lined up. We are literally. Our periods are on the same <laughs> wavelength yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. We're menstruating the same. We are <laughs> on the same wavelength, dude. Anyway, um, I just when the anonymous huge donation, uh, it's weird that but I, no one wants here's credit. The, I bet it's anonymous plus. I bet you if you rattle some cages at the school and ask, they'll tell you who it was. Somebody knows. Somebody, Somebody knows. knows. How big of an NBA player is he? Like four million dollars. That's a a lot. Well, you know what I'm saying? It, like, it, 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 what high school is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the puzzle. Oh my god! Oh, how, man. Man, how, how many, you, how how many high school adults? Did There's gotta only me? be one in Castleberry. I was right? ready to follow you to hell too. I was like, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'm like, just laugh. Castle High. <laughs> 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 get, let's get out of here. All right. Bye bye. Welcome back to a corporate time. Happy BDM Appreciation Week again. Woo-hoo! Um, what do we got? Uh, some voicemail emails. Yeah, voicemail emails. Let's start with a voicemail. Um, I put a bunch of new ones in here. Let's go with this one just because Drew and I used to talk about this way back in the day. If you're, uh, if you don't know who Drew, Drew Garabo, who is on in Tampa on the bone, I used to be, uh, produce his show back in the day. And this was something he and I talked about many, many nights. Hey guys, you're talking about mishearing, uh, song lyrics, um, you know, like slapper dad around, but one of the most famous ones I've ever heard, uh, that a lot of people have talked about 
is a song Blinded by the Light. There's a line in that song, and it sounds exactly like he's saying, wrapped up like a douche, uh, mm-hmm. another roamer in the night. Apparently, the real lyric is revved up like a deuce. I have yep. no idea what that means. A car. <laughs> it sounds like taking a mean shit, but ah. uh, the actual lyric, when you look it up, says revved up like a deuce, but the actual sound is wrapped up like a douche. So I'm not sure if you've ever heard that one, but that's... That's one of the most famous ones I've heard of. That's definitely one of the most famous. Yeah, I think Drew, everyone's Drew and I would talk about that all the time. I pulled this up for you, Tom. I don't know if you know. Uh, do you even know Manfred Mann's Earth Band? Do you even know you like? If I said that, you'd be like, "What? Manfred Mann's Earth Band?" Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> Have you ever heard this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like what you and I count our drug money. The song we count, oh, it, yeah. we're putting it in that machine. Yeah. <laughs> CSI. <laughs> yeah, this is, the, this is the song that they play. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche, another loader in the night. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche, another loader in the night. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche, another loader. That's good. I like that. I and you know I I thought about that because I usually think about ladies <laughs> hygiene products <laughs> as being wrapped up. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I'm not trying to be crass. I'm trying to say why this sort of makes sense. It's like when you're blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche. Like I think about douches, tampons. You wrap them <laughs> up, right? Like don't not uh, wrap. Yeah, you, yeah, I, yeah, I want them all wrapped. Yeah, yeah. Like when you yeah. this ain't a this ain't a white elephant. Put some wrapping paper on. Wrap and put it in a napkin. <laughs> when you throw your underwear away, you have to wrap it <laughs> up. wrap it up like a douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another loner in the night. You wrap them up. <laughs> yeah. When you throw your underwear, you have underwear, to hide the shame. Yeah. When you're throwing your underwear <laughs> away at a Hooters, you take it and you put it in a, a ball of paper towels and then you wet the paper towel ball so it stays small and compact and it doesn't expand letting the uh, the yeah. panties fall out yeah, 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 you don't want yeah. them to fall the worst thing is if the old janitor that's in there is dumping it and yeah. a little piece of a balled up piece of toilet paper lands on the ground he's like oh what's it he goes to pick it up and your panties fall out then <laughs> oh then he's like oh and he's trying to find somebody and crapped up the bathroom and he's yelling at the hooters <laughs> Ah, all, all right. right. First We're, email. Yeah. All right. Hi, Dan. I've been listening to you and Tom since I was a kid. I hate it when people... <laughs> can we just stop people Hold from on. saying that? <laughs> for the kid? Well, that would be more me. Uh, like, I've been broadcasting in this town for, like, almost 25 years now, dude. Well, they actually... We, when did you start with the Monsters Town? Oh, I, he was. he doesn't like it when you bring that up. I started at 03. Um, and I was so, yeah, sounds like sixteen. And I was like ninety 16, seven or eight, maybe. But even if he if he was mentioning the podcast, we've been doing the podcast for twelve years. So you could be a kid. He could have started listening when he was twelve, yeah. and now kind of, he's yeah. twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, been a BDM. I can't even do math. Listening, <laughs> <laughs> listening on the side since twenty fourteen, and only recently started taking part in the Twitch chat room under the name Solitaire. I wasn't sure if I wanted to send this, but someone recently told me that in today's society, we have gotten good at telling people when they are doing something wrong, yet we don't tell people when they're doing something right. I say that all the time. That observation really struck me, as I definitely see that now and agree that we don't give enough compliments or show enough appreciation to those around us. So I wanted to reach out to you, Tom and Sam, to tell you how much I really appreciate all that you guys do. I lost my mother in January of 2020 and the pandemic strike. Uh, struck in March of 2020, so the last couple of years have been especially hard for me. However, listening to you, Tom and Sam, daily and the laughter and happiness you bring me has put me in a lot more bright spi- spots than I thought would possible during this period. Again, I just wanted to reach out and tell you guys are doing an amazing job, and I know I can't speak for every BDM, but for myself, I really appreciate having you guys as an outlet. So Thanks. he appreciates us during BDM Appreciation Week. Nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, that a is double a, mutual appreciation. And that was a big boy email. And thank you for sending that. It, that stuff does matter. It, it's nice to, when we're trying to hit the mark, and we do sometimes, it is nice to have people go, you know what? It's been pretty good. Here's how bad of a person I am. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I... This is what he wants, though, right? <laughs> Let him eat cake, man. Give him what he wants. I'm just telling you the truth. So, um, we get a lot of those emails that are like, hey, I appre- that you got me through this hard time. I appreciate what you guys do because, uh, you know, a lot of it's like I lost this person or whatever, bad times, yeah. right? Yeah. You got me through bad times. I, too, have been through bad times and I've listened to people 
and it's made me laugh. And like one was Burt Kreischer's book, like his uh, audio book or whatever. Yeah. I remember I I was listening to it on the drive down to Miami through some bad times or whatever, and I and I appreciated uh, like. That it made me laugh, and I was like, you know, laughter is the best medicine. This is pretty like it, not if you have mm-hmm. cancer. <laughs> it's uh, it made me not think about my problems, and uh, you know, yeah. made me laugh. You know, in in a See, time where I'm super works. sad, nothing works for me. I'm so obsessive compulsive well, that I just I lean into my problems. <laughs> you can't get me off of there. Here's where the bad person comes in. I don't. I just assume he's doing this for money, not to make my day better. Wait, you think he wants something for free? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, he didn't do this intending to make people's day better. He did this for money. Mm-hmm. So wow, I, don't app- <laughs> I don't appreciate it that much because he's not, he's just doing it to make money. So <laughs> <laughs> would I appreciate him making, trying to make money? Like, well, the you fact should that, appreciate that, too. The You're fact a money that, man. That I laughed was ancillary to the whole him making money had nothing to do with his original intent. That's okay. <laughs> wow. That is a different way of looking at it, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, we're doing this... Yeah, it's great that this guy... You're made always making things again. <laughs> but we're like, technically, we're just doing it because it's our job. Right. Whatever, ha- whatever else go, happens... Yeah, whether you're here or not, <laughs> I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, Don't say that. We want him to be here. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> well, I'm just no, saying. No, he dragged like, me into this, <laughs> and I contractually, I'm obligated to go along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, uh, you know, yes, it does make people laugh, but that is just a, a thing that happens because we're doing our job to make money. Not, we're not doing don't it to make to you laugh. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Just don't listen to him. Where are we at with the dad running challenge? Are we going to do this? Let's do it. Did anybody send a video? Well, I mean, we got. I haven't got one Okay, yet. W- we've got our uh, DeBerry Joe is one of our listeners. He calls <laughs> oh, in. No. DeBerry Joe feels very confident that he can beat a fan, friend of the show, uh, nemesis of the show, uh, polarizing <laughs> character in the show, Seth Petrozelli. Uh, in a foot race, here is DeBerry Joe calling in to clarify some things. Tom, Dan, Sam. Or no, this is a different guy. Chuck in Michigan. Hey, oh, Michigan Chuck. The whole dead run thing, <laughs> you know. Screw that. I can't even run across the street without it hurting. I'm 55, but, I mean, come on. I used to do all sorts of climbing. I'm a painter. Climbing ladders and stuff. Screw that. It hurts. Later. We got that guy, and then here's oh, the Barry Joe. Here Barry Joe. Uh, listen to y'all talk about my uh, the full speed run challenge. Full speed um, dad run. I do that frequently enough. Uh, I could def- I go on long distance skating trips, and uh, you know, still get out surfing and working out. You know, not actual exercise, but um, got to call Tom out. I make a uh, couple of eggs, bacon, and toast every morning for breakfast. I don't eat that Seven Eleven shit. Uh, black coffee, no Mountain Dew or soda for me, just black coffee, water, and beer at the end of the day. Um, I, I, uh, I think you sorely misunderestimated me, and I'll get that video of a full-speed run. Even though y'all already had one of me chasing down the, the, the mid-teens um, about a year ago or whatever that was now, um, that wasn't quite a full-speed oh. run. My boxers were falling off of my ass. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I think Back. in boxers that don't fall down, he's even faster. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because he did chase down those teens that were like, <laughs> what were they doing? Stealing a car? Yeah, or something, something like that. Well, they got in a car accident. Uh, I mean, they weren't running that fast. Um, Man, you <laughs> hate everything. God, God almighty. Damn. I'm just taking yeah, it off. Yeah, you're like my daughter. I, I just want to take it away what? from you. You know what Tom is becoming? I'm going to start calling you Maisie because when I come home, I'll be like, oh, she's like, what's for dinner tonight? I'm like, we're having fish sticks. She's like, those aren't fish sticks. They're tilapia sticks. I'm like, okay, they're tilapia sticks. What are we having with the tilapia? Just we're, a contrarian. We're having tater tots. Well, what? Uh, you they're like, potato I, puffs. Yeah, yeah there's our <laughs> t- t- tater tots. They're tomato pie. Like Everything is a contrarian, 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 contrarian. <laughs> I just my go to. <laughs> <My God. laughs> Annoying. Which, Crystal, y'all, yeah, Crystal says it. It's like, quit doing what you do on your show. Quit, doing I can't, quit being you. I can't live with you. <laughs> like, oh my God. Wrong. You weren't supposed to say that part. <laughs> well, no, and because everything she says, I always find the opposite to why she's wrong or have an opposite opinion. 
and it's just my go-to. The chat room is, uh, I'll answer one chat room question they were trying to figure out you know, on the Drew Garabo show if Mandy was pre-me being there, and the answer is no. Mandy and I worked uh, together. Like, she would have been the producer, and I was, like, her assistant and call screener. And then eventually when she exited, I took that role. So mm. there you go. Uh, next email. This is a new BDM. Dear Tom and Dan, I just wanted to say thanks for a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I first heard you guys on the Monsters back in the early 2000s when they were playing in West Palm before Dr. Rich kicked Rollins to the curb. That's not true. Recently, when the News Junkie was put on the station in the afternoons, I started listening to 104.1 and heard a corporate time. I recognize those voices instantly. I've been an avid listener ever since. Love the show and recently decided to quit the corporate radio world, just like my two favorite personalities did. And I'm now all in on a mediocre time. Nothing but all day, every day. Thanks, stupid old man Johnny. P.P.S. I just today learned what BDM stands for. God, do I feel stupid. P.S. I'm also loving the medioc- mediocrity thing. I've decided to rename my software company. Uh, let me know if you want me to fix that app. So this guy found us from the radio, and now he's a BDM. Oh my, did you see uh, the look <laughs> of shock and horror on Tom's face? Like, what? So we need you to fix our app. <laughs> we do need you to fix our app, yeah. sir. I was thinking about that the other day. I was, too, as yeah. I was eating the hot sauce from the other app guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, this is good hot sauce. Oh, I was yeah, like, what's up with those I was, eating I, uh, these, I was eating the hot sauce from this other app company. I was like, this hot sauce is so good. These guys should quit doing apps and just do hot sauce. <laughs> 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 I, they didn't email me back. Uh, Too anyway. busy stirring the sauce. And when someone doesn't email you back, okay, this happens to me uh, quite often. I'll email Same. someone, and then they they I get nothing back, right? Yeah, happens yeah, yeah. All I do time. that. I text you that all the time. I text you, "Hi, Tom," and nothing back. Yeah. And then I assume that they have already read it and then decided not to email me back for one reason or the other. Maybe too busy or whatever. But they it probably is in the back of their their mind that they had read the email and decided maybe their mailbox is full <laughs> either yeah, yeah i think that Ooh, only happens could to be a the, full mailbox to the dumbest of the world <laughs> like me dumbest of the world yeah. anyway wait a minute we fired that guy <laughs> oh, oh, come on so I got, some, I got a lot of sleep last night the uh, i didn't i didn't i didn't sleep at all anyway uh the, what was i talking about <laughs> when people don't email you back <laughs> <laughs> dumb old dumbest, man. Dumbest of the world is like, God damn wait, it. wait, where am I? <laughs> when people don't email oh you God, back. For five hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone past the threshold. <laughs> we really <laughs> have. So I have a hard time sending them like a follow up, a follow up yeah. because well, you're bad at business. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But I feel like it's saying like, why aren't you listening <laughs> to me? <laughs> like, only that. You overthink everything. You really do. If you just said, hey, you may not have seen this. I'm so sorry exactly. to double up. You just apologize just and put like, it on hey, you. Just doubling back to make yeah. sure you saw this email. You don't. But say- I know they saw it. No, you <laughs> don't. And you they don't. know I know they saw it. <laughs> this is you're the problem. We have found the problem. <laughs> we found the problem. That is the thing that you do, right? You're like, I can't roll. believe this company's been around this long. <laughs> I didn't either. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> that makes three of us. Whenever <laughs> they show up, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, it's still here. It's Code's still running. Still work. Code's still work. All, All right. right, we'll do uh, a couple more of these. Um, let's try this one. Hey guys, Hilton Head BDM. Um, I want to call and agree with Tom. Tom, if I find you wearing glasses with a strap around your head, I'm going to push you down and take your lunch money. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. What's wrong with the strap? It's weirdo. Now, my wife was over here. My wife. I, yeah. When I came in this morning, yeah, she, she was talking to him. About she glasses. loved them. She like my wife was like, oh, what are these? And she put them on and she was like running around the studio trying to get them to fall off her face. And she was like, these are great. They they're great for if you're doing outdoor activities. You're always outdoors. <laughs> yeah, but they're horrible when I'm just driving around town, because at every stoplight, I like to look at my phone. You gotta stop doing do that. that. You're not supposed Have to stop do that. Have stoplight. You're not supposed to do that. When you're sitting in a stoplight? No. No. You're I still think driving. that's fine. No. Because I know you, you'll be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do that move. No, just I, a little. I see multiple just people do that move. Stop. They, they all do that move oh, yeah. where you're holding it in your right hand. You're looking at your screen. You're driving forward and using your peripheral vision yes. to drive. I yeah. see everyone doing it. And when I'm on my scooter wearing a helmet, I'm like, you're going to try to kill me. Yeah. No, I just do a little. No. <laughs> no. It's, I'm not even going fast. I never look it at it like much. on I-4. It doesn't take much. I've seen those graphics no. on the, haven't you seen the bus decker shares the the action? Accident stats where it's right. like if you're going two miles an hour, it's like the car's going one thousand miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and if it hit, yeah. that, they say that it's yeah. like it's like multiplying. It, it destroys your body, tears you limb from limb. All right, 
So, but I feel if you are dead stopped without cheating and driving, if you're dead stopped okay. at a stoplight, yes. you can look at your phone and it'd be perfectly safe. You're Who, not supposed to, but... What I'm just saying, like, I think what you is can, wrong with that? But then if the light turns green, you have to put your phone yeah, down. Yeah. And so, you but we know that you don't do that. Well, okay, well, I don't do anything, I say. But <laughs> we know. I'm, but I'm saying if you do that anyway, so let's just say I started only looking at the stoplight... I have to take off my strap glasses, and I can't do it with one hand. I have to both hands. I have to put them. No, the just take one hand and move them up, and just let them sit on That's your forehead. That's what I said, and he said that they don't, they won't. Yeah, yeah, because then can I get them and try them? Yeah, try them. If right. they're I'm a little baggy, meanwhile, then they fall down. The uh, the Twitch chat wants to know why Tom has specifically asked people to call and email uh, about appreciation for the show just to crap all over him, <laughs> <laughs> which is what what you're doing, by the way. I'm doing that for marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't was know. Trying to plan. sell that to other people. Oh my I God. haven't worn these, so okay. Oh, so look I'm at those. Just, <laughs> on you. So there. What do I look like? A senator? Or so, okay. So I've got the glasses on. You look like a cocaine they're dealer. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too tight. Okay, now I got them good. So yeah, so you're a stoplight. I'm at a stoplight, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I need to use. I need yeah, to hold one light. hand with your phone. Okay, no, yeah. so I'll do. And then yeah, you yeah. just do this. Yeah. But then watch. Then you put it back down. They're loose. <laughs> they're loose. They're they're I'm telling you, it works. Look well, at they're that. They're not going to fall off your face, though. On, 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 all day long, I can do that. <laughs> but yeah, but they, then when you put them back, they're a little bit loose. Well, you can tighten them later. These are nice, dude. I, I just, just need they, regular. They make regular glasses. I'm. Uh, I just need some regular gas station glasses, and I think about can, it every day. Can I choose them? Oh. Any, any <laughs> Andrea, like, oh, and he, Andrea's in the chat throwing shades. She, she said that they were dirty as hell. There's fingerprints all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, <laughs> everything really I have dirty. is dirty. They're really dirty. It's like, like you yeah. wiped your butt with them. Or all my glasses are scratched to the like. I can't. I don't even. I can't be an adult. Like I. Uh, I can't believe you have children to take care of. They're ending up like me. <laughs> like I see, I'm ruining them. Well, like you let me buy you a pair of gas station glasses. Yeah, yes. but the ones you, with the pugs on the side. Pug, that's the brand, Pug. Yeah. Is, is there I'll a, get you some wrapper. I'm going to get you some Orange County choppers. <laughs> <laughs> is there a glasses membership where they, every quarter, I just get sent I'm a new sure pair of glasses, is. right? Mm, no. Because that's what I need. Like, because I, and I need What about your ones. blenders? I broke them all. Too I'm expensive, too. Those are $40 glasses. Blenders used to be inexpensive glasses. Now they know what they got. You can, uh, you can sign up for Shades Club and you can get a monthly subscription. Monthly's too much. I need no. quarterly. <laughs> quarterly. <laughs> Every three months, you need a new pair of glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, because that's around Sunglass the time. Sunglass subscription boxes. Yeah, you can find them. All right. Um, yeah, but these are for good can, sunglasses. Can you You want some shazades? <laughs> shazade? No. <laughs> oh, my God. What's shazade? <laughs> shazades. <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal movie ever made. <laughs> I'm dying. I have shizades. <laughs> Shaq, you look really thin. <laughs> I know. I can't eat Taco Bell anymore or Pepsi. I have shizades. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What uh, next? I have what? Next. <laughs> shizades IV. Uh, I got I'm just one. joking, by the way, for the BDM. They, uh, I can't take compliments at all. If you compliment me, I get uncomfortable. But you then, asked for them. Yeah. Like, that's why I, I didn't look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I told Daniel. Send them in. He doesn't want to look at them, read them, hear them. By the way, it was the dumbest them. idea for them to email me uh, the files because <laughs> back to my storage. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not even getting them. <laughs> no, no. I oh, got them. you're right. He probably we, didn't get a lot of yeah. them. <laughs> to put it over the God limit. damn it, Tom. <laughs> because, and then when I tried to forward them to Melissa to edit them. They stayed in your sin yeah, file, they, so you're just <laughs> doubling the file. So oh then I had to text Daniel. I'm like, hey, can you go to the office and bring Break into my email and send them because I don't know how to work Dropbox or anything. Uh, I can't send them because it won't let me uh, forward them to Melissa because my email's too full or whatever. Anyway. Okay. All right. Hey. Whatever. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it I, is. <laughs> it's embarrassing to talk about. Like, I don't want to air this. You know? Like, <laughs> Can I we scrap uh, this whole segment? I don't want to talk about this stuff. You know? Like, it is. It, it does make me wonder if, like, I wonder if there's, like, one of our clients, like, listening. You know, if, like, Streamline, if they're like, let's see what Tom and Dan are doing. And you're like, I'll kind of open my email. I'm like, that's going to reflect poorly. They don't listen. Too dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work too dumb. Oh, I was no, 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 like, Jesus no, Christ. No, 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 no. insulting thing you can say. No, no, no. Listen, listen, <laughs> no, he's no, too no. stupid to listen. No, we're too dumb for him yeah, to listen too to. Too much yeah. dumb content for them to pay attention Pretty to. Pretty much. I'll tell you a true text. 
text that just happened an oh, hour ago. No. Um, oh, no. th- this was between me and my wife. My wife's <laughs> at our project we're working on, yeah. uh, Air TND. Yes. And um, she she is finishing it up. Uh, Bart Merrick's taking pictures. And then she texts me. Oh, my God. She's like, babe, I'm so proud of you. And then. Oh. And then and, yeah, that's dope. And then I said, uh, "That's good." I said, "Listen, I I couldn't have done this without your help and uh, the help of everybody." I, liver, really, I, d- I didn't really expect you to. A- say and that. then she's like, "No, that you spelled sense correctly." <laughs> <laughs> Because I normally say, like, that doesn't make any sense, S-I-N-C-E, and right, she's constantly right. yelling at me. And then in, like, two so previous texts, did you do C-E-N-T-S? Like, yes. No, no. Like, no, no. sense? I, uh, then I spelled sense correctly, and that's what she was proud of me about. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. man. Had nothing to do with the Arabic, nothing you know work or proud of you, too. <laughs> wow. It, it was the shoes on the news. <laughs> 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 they're not proud of me for what we're promoting on the news right. that I wear shoes on the news so that's why people are complimenting me yeah that's it I mean we You're know you can, we know you can do the <laughs> tough stuff we know you can like start yeah. air, you know start an Airbnb you can do that yeah, yeah. but spelling words <laughs> I don't know about that I don't know about that oh. what yes bye bye